to another episode of Evren. Uh, if you missed the game that happened last week, that's okay, because that was Evil Game. Uh, evil Game happens... <laughs> <laughs> that's a jig like a knife. <laughs> what I meant by that was that it doesn't impact this game, because it's a different game. Uh, and also, if you watched up until, I think, about 9 o'clock this time, we were rebroadcasting the previous episode of this campaign. So, uh, Evren is my... Oh, ah, there you go. My homebrew campaign here, set in my own homebrew world. Um, you guys can find more about it at I think nerdimmersion.com slash Everin. There's some information there if you're curious. Uh, but I, uh, I guess we'll start off with what happened last time. But I do have one quick announcement, which I will put in the Twitch chat because it's the only chat that I can do this remotely with. Uh, and that is that I still have a giveaway going on. It ends this Friday at 11.59 p.m. It is to give away four copies of Morden Kanan's Tome of Foes and four sets of polyhedral dice. So if you want to enter to win, that's the link in the uh, the chat there. That link will get you everything you need to know. And it's basically stuff a lot of you are already doing. Uh, and one of the things you're going to get 10 extra bonus entries is to subscribe to the Twitch channel. Yeah. And if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime account. So that's one free subscription a month, you could use that to get yourself 10 extra entries into this contest. Bam! You do that. So, so do it. That is an option. Do what you want. That. Do it. Um, that's pretty much it, I think, uh, for announcements. I'm supposed to build a character tomorrow. I don't know who, so I can't tell you who it is. Um, Secret character. I, I, there's a list. You guys can find it. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. You should do Samus. I can put Samus on the list, though. It'd be hard to do, though. Like, Did Iron Man, I can do Samus. Speaking of Iron Man, what? we have a civil war that we're supposed to... I'm dressed to for it, bro. Oh. I'm not. I need to be able to summon the armor, but I can't. Can't. Because it's not real. Yeah. Well, anyway, we do have a civil war planned between these two using the, Cap the Captain America the Iron Man that I built. So we'll have to do that at some point soon. We'll um, we could try to do it someday. We could try to do it someday. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, Curse of Strahd this Sunday, by the way. I guess I should say that. So tune in for what will likely be the final... I think it's going to be. It's I think it has to be. Unlike, yeah. It has to be. The yeah. final episode of our Curse of Strahd campaign. Yeah. yeah. That's what... The thrilling conclusion. I took off work. We're doing it, guys. Yeah. You're not even supposed to take off work, and you did anyway. I did. I found someone to switch. Nice. Because now it's easier because I can work weekdays uh -huh. because I'm at the summer. Before, I couldn't... So I found someone to I was like, I'll work Tuesday morning. And she was like, oh. you work Monday morning? It's perfect day for you. Can you work Monday morning? And I said, no! <laughs> Thank you for the host, someone who just threw up the host. Because I can't actually see it from over here. Uh, and the chat decided to, the chat bot decided to not tell me. Ah, chat bot. Oh. I want to Might be a chat bot. say is probably... Oh, hey, we got some people hanging out in the chat. So what's yeah. up, chat? So let me give you guys, now that we got some people here... Um, some friendly faces. Uh, let's talk about what happened last time. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the party had left the northern city of Brickens Homestead after dealing with some dwarven uh, stuff for Rick, and, and you know, entering into unwittingly, in some cases, entering into an uh, in a battle of a war between Kuatoa and the dwarves. Left. Uh, did some funky stuff in Brickens Homestead, went to another dimension, possibly, or plane of existence, uh, then fought a Wendigo, yep. or two. With a werebear. With a werebear's assistance, and then headed south on a ship that they sort of commandeered from a bunch of stoners who... That is a very loose commandeering. Yes. They basically asked nicely and got the ship. We were attempting to return the ship, even. We, we were tried. we were reverse stealing the ship. Yeah. yeah, they went to the uh, the village of Gouger, Advanced farming. a farming like. uh, a farming community known for its Gouger leaf, which is the real world correlation to marijuana. Uh, which is Wave Gouger, who named himself after the town he was from, uh, his hometown, uh, where they decided they were going to basically confront his childhood bully, uh, and you know deal with the fact that he killed his parents and beat him up and left him for dead. Find out it, it wasn't his parents. Uh, they didn't kill his parents. Celine's character, Ember, actually did in an accidental fire that she started burning down his family home. Yeah. 
found out that the kid that beat him up bought that land. They didn't buy it, really. Just he settled. Just settled in that land, made a new farm, made a great name for himself in the town. They said, get out of here. This is my land, but I'm not going to use it. But you can't either. But you can't either. Because you're a Something jerk. Else. You can't play with my toys, even though I don't want to play with them. Yeah. So they kicked him out. Good analogy. Yeah. Uh, but and he was then, a jerk. <laughs> true. While trying to make a memorial for Wave's dead parents, Wave went looking for bronze, brass, brass metal to have uh, Rick work it into some sort of memorial. Found a ship underwater made of brass, covered in runes. Went inside, found a sarcophagus, opened said sarcophagus, found a skeleton filled with gems and jewels and a staff and a book that came to life, counterspelled his guiding bolt, uh, and then waved peace out. Yep. And, and then, then they basically told the town, let's not start a panic, but also let's start a panic. <laughs> There's an evil undead monster. We gotta get the fuck out of here. We were right, though. Uh, so they left into the harsh hillside, a.k.a. the Wyvern Hills, a barren, desolate area full of monsters, razor-sharp rocks, and just harsh terrain. Uh, and they've been traveling through there for the past day or so. They have since done reconnaissance to find out that, yes, uh, there was flayed bodies, fire, dead things, the town destroyed. Presumably by this thing. Presumably. Presumably? Had set free. Yeah. Uh, and in the process of this, they decided to split the townsfolk. Send a large chunk of them with a handful of people that uh, they thought, they, 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 and hopefully rightfully so, could hold their own. Yeah. Sent them to the north with a couple of retired fighters, a turtle who makes drug rugs, and uh, a drow adventurous. And a drow adventurous. Sent them all north um, to Brigham's homestead to hopefully just make a, make a name for themselves. In the process... Uh, they pretty much have lost just about everyone that decided to stay with them, with the exception of Selwyn, the elven crystal saleswoman, yep. and Zista, yeah. the, the tabaxi, the yuan tea farmer. I've got a soft Ooh, spot. Did Tuck die? Yep. Yep. Okay. Timmy's dead. Yep. yep. <laughs> and Tuck, Clayton is dead. And Timmy and Clayton. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, Selwyn and Zista. Yes. Still, uh, still trucking. Fun fact, S Internet, still I believe that the multi, the, uh, the plural of Yuan-T, Yuan-Tani. Ooh, Ooh, I like that. Yeah, so if it's a Yuan-Tani artifact, things like that. Nice. Something that I learned the other day. So, there you go, that's for you, Internet. It sounds good. Um, so, basically the party dealt with... Uh, a avalanche, a creature that is basically a giant rock spider that has the ability to cause avalanches and it tried to basically engulf them in rocks so that it could feast on them slowly, sort of like in a weird spider-like fashion, but it uses rocks and the ability to transmute rock to trap its foes rather than a web. Ha, but we killed that. They did, and then they were also assaulted no, by some strange <laughs> centaur-like creatures where the oh, lower yeah. half of their body was a scorpion <clears throat> as opposed to a horse. And the party pretty much, that's where we ended, more yeah. or less, at that point. Uh, the party is hoping to make their way um, to uh, the Erdian Conclave, which I don't believe the map's there. I'll get it, just so you guys have it. Which mm. is the, uh, the Cobalt City. So, over the mountains is a, uh, a constant for thousands of years, a civil war between two camps of kobolds uh, in the area known, cleverly, as the Bold Lands, where it is a massive fight of brains versus brawn, of kobolds that are intelligent and sort of tinkerers and things of that nature versus kobolds that are just strong men and do everything via brute force. And they consistently fight over a bridge that crosses a lake between their two lands. And to the general public and most people, no one knows why. So the party is hoping to make their way, and correct me if I'm wrong, in basically into that area to then try to catch a boat to head south? Or are you guys going to then go through the forest? I couldn't remember what you had been. Yes, originally the plan was to go south to Westwick to get rid of the two people you have that have managed to survive thus far. Right. 
to try to go to the Elven City to try to get maybe some more information about Ember's symbol that she has. She has this piece of paper, or this piece of leather, rather, with a symbol kind of scorched or engraved into it, and wants more information. It's Elven in nature, so their options were basically go to a place that has researchers that have knowledge of things, or possibly go to the Elves and hope that they know what it is. I think that was our plan. That was originally your plan, but I didn't know... Well, we were waiting to hear back from the familiar. I did suggest... Dismissing the familiar? Yeah. That that was a discussion we had, where I was yeah, like, hey, so remember if, if we had... want to change course, I need to recast Find Familiar so my message doesn't get delivered. Right. Um... Yeah, because and we could, decided to go against that. I wasn't yeah. sure where we had officially no, I think, landed. I think we still want to try and keep Selwyn and um, what's his name? Zista. Zista, Zista. alive. Okay. Well, I and know, I know left. that was part of the plan. I just wasn't sure if you guys were going to go because the potential th- conversation was the Correct. Abbey has yeah, a bunch of people with a lot of knowledge, right? And now you also have an undead creature with a bunch of runes to possibly research as well. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but I think regardless, we were at least going to take those two and send them on a ship to Westwick. Also, we were talking about maybe going to the Court Citadel <clears throat> and talking to the Dragonborn because those guys might, even if they don't know exactly what they would be fighting against, might be willing to be like, oh, okay. Evil. Yeah. Evil. We'll go fight that. We'll go take that out. Try to. Anyway. Yeah. Mm. And then we could, yeah, and then go to Toriel and not stop and bid. Those are all. Those were all of our yes, plans. That yes, that was that was the whole thing. Very specifically. Yep. Not Very so specifically, thing. going to Kingsdale though. Yeah, yeah, we go to Kingsdale. Yeah. I mean, it's out of the way. I don't know why we would, but sure, yeah. It's not really that far out of the way. Well, I mean, it depends on if we're going by land or boat. If we're going by boat, then like. Even if we're know. going by land, I mean, honestly, going by land, it's. It makes sense to go to Kingsdale. You yeah. probably want to get to like. Right here. Yeah, before and then bit. Before right before bit. bit. And cross then cross the river. The river. Sticks or whatever. Yeah. Um, What's the name of that river? Oh, I, I forgot to tell you what that was. Because yeah. I forgot to write it. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. Right. We don't know. It's not on the map. <laughs> so we take fair. a long rest? Uh, Yeah, I think that's where we were pretty much at. You guys took a long rest. So everybody gets their HP and <gasps> any expended spell slots that they have back. That was bracing. Ah, man. All those spell slots. Good to have. Both of them. Yeah, all yeah. two that the two of you guys have. We have three. Three? And We're level four. Wind, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you have second wind. Level four, we have three surge. spell slots. Do that. And I, I believe that you did. Pass. On opposite day. But yeah, no. Good to go, guys. Um, shit. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah. All right, so we start mm-hmm. heading south. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, east. So you got, yeah, you guys were heading. Now, was your plan, or remind me, was your plan to go basically as close to the coast as you could? Um, no, or I think at this point. Were you guys going to try to go through the heart? I couldn't remember what the ultimate plan was. I feel like it's hard to like say exactly which way. Yeah, like through the mountains we're going. Well, if you have a general heading, like, you but have an idea. yeah, I mean we're not trying to like cut across directly to the coast. Like we're trying to find the shortest route through this bad land area, and then at that point we can, if even if there's war going on, then we're on some plains, and that is at least easier traveling. Yeah. Okay. Quite. So, All right. So uh, yeah, it's slow going like this. You had something to say about Yeah. What? I said, yeah. Uh, I imagined that, like, since we ended up, like, near enough to the forest that we could split up at that point, like, I kind of imagined that we ended up, like, go- entering somewhere, like, right, you know, east, uh, or, that is east, right? Yeah. East of Gowager, and then we're kind of, like, heading that way. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys can kind of, you're in the mountains, you can kind of see where the ocean is. Right. So I didn't know if you were planning to try to go on like an angle to get yourself closer since you're still looking to try to get a ship up here which you know i don't know if you thought it would make more sense to travel into yeah. the a war-torn area and hopes to make it to the coast or try to get there directly i think mostly we were running away from gowager so that's wherever fair. you think we are in here i think that's mm-hmm. where we are i think we we're heading south south okay. vaguely that's south fine. I, that works for me 
Uh, Alright, so it's the next morning. You guys have been in here, what is it, two full days? Mm. Or three full this days? This is a three, three full, full days. days. Yeah. Three full days, yeah. So we knew it was going to take you guys a little while because it is slow going. Slow yeah. Uh, so, uh, Pat, I need you to it's go ahead good. and make me a perception check. And. Wisdom saving throw. Oh! Yeah. 20. Ask gotta go. 15. Let's find out. That's pretty good. Plus four. Can you hand me a paper towel for the moment, please? Um, what did you say, a 20? Yep. there for a moment and it's gone. You feel like perhaps you were keen, too keenly aware. Mm. But a feeling as though <clears throat> something was trying to discern your location. Ooh. Magically. Mm. Hey guys. Uh, yeah. I think mm. I think it was scrying on me. Who was? The, the scourge that I released in Gouger. Ah. Uh. Good thing we split up for most of the townsfolk. Good thing we split up for most of the townsfolk. But I realized it, and now it's gone. But I don't know if it'll happen again, so... Okay. Keep, keep well, your guard up. Yeah, thanks. Keep us posted on that. Um, and could you walk a little further away from me? <laughs> sure. Like an, Give me like an extra five feet. That seems kind of callous. Like, is, I, I, do you even know how that's... Works. No, that's why I want him to be five feet away from me. Oh, okay. Are you sure you don't know how that spell works? Yeah, I mean, I could try and think of how it works if you'd like. Rick? Yeah. <laughs> Arcana <laughs> check. <laughs> to see if I know how that spell works. Uh, 11. Uh, you know that it's a means of magically discerning or, or observing. It doesn't necessarily give you a pinpoint accuracy, but it lets you observe a creature if they were unawares or if they voluntarily chose to be susceptible to that. And there are things that can, you know, increase or decrease the likelihood of it happening. Yeah, but yeah I'm fucking scrying. I, <laughs> I don't know. That's how it works, man. You see him or you don't see him? I, I don't see him. No, he's right there. So, like, you... Oh, you can't see back through the spell? No. No. How does he see that? How does who see? Whoever's casting the spell. The Scourge? Yeah. Which I feel like is a great name it's for whatever this happened. Yeah. It's just The Scourge. I, I just thought of it. It's good. Yeah. Um, sorry, what was your question? I was... So, like, he's not like, he's, uh, you can't, like, if you can't, like, look around and see it back. No. Me uh, both know that it doesn't work. Yeah, it's not how it works. Yeah. Hmm. It's like, if you're looking at someone, right. and they're not looking at you. That's how it works. But they could look at me. Yeah, nope. It's like if someone invisible was looking at you. Like if I were to be invisible right now, and I was looking at you, okay. you couldn't see me, uh, that's how the spell works. But I could tell that you were looking at, if I could tell that you were looking at me, then you couldn't look at me. 
Yeah, then I yeah, then uh, then I go blind in this analogy. But you're still invisible. Yes, always invisible. All right. You also would both know that it works pretty much anywhere on the same plane of existence. Yes. So uh, this scenario isn't going to get better, so we should move quicker. Okay, I'm done with that. Ha! Yeah, uh, you can make me. Or actually, you can. See if you can make me a Arcana check at disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, real quick. Remember for your history. What's her What's her name? I I've been brain farting on Glaive Sabine. Lady's name. Sabine. 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 Thank you. I've been brain farting all week. What? Cool. Uh. Yep. That sounds weird. I get it. All right. Let's keep going. Okay. So. so <laughs> <laughs> Wish nobody could cast spells. Does that make everything better? I, I guess. Makes me better, comparatively. It's fair. You're the best at not casting spells. I'm, Rick. I'm 100% at not casting spells. Yeah. Never did in my whole life. Yeah. Unless anger is a spell. It's not. Is there a spell that makes people angry? Um. No? I guess that really depends on your it's definition of yeah. Crown of madness. Crown of madness. No, I think that's insanity, not anger. Uh, I think that's insanity, not anger. I, I don't know. There's calm emotions, so you can make angry people calm. Okay. But I don't know if you can make... Unless, like, suggestion, get angry! That's the secret. Um, Wasted the spell. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking all. <laughs> uh, um, okay, yeah, so you guys are traveling through the area here. Uh, and I will need... What's everybody's passive perception? 13. 13. 16. 16. Oh, that's right. Everybody's got the same one. No, no. He's got a 16. Except for him. 16. Put you up on uh, our shoulders. I mean, you could argue that Tensor's Thanks. transformation is a spell that makes you angry. Ah. Rick couldn't argue that. No. He, he could only angry. punch somebody who could cast the spell. That's true. He's great at that. That's one of his best talents. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, spell check. Dice would be good, huh? If, uh... Dice could talk? No, I was gonna say, if I'm... If I'm driving... I'm invisible. If I'm driving Ember, yeah. she's only casting fire spells. Whoa! Funny how that works! I'm using Makes your... sense. Last feature. Sorry, I have to grab my dice there over here from last time. Because <laughs> uh, Sean, the player, kind of wants to see what would happen. When things catch on fire? Yeah. yeah. All right. As long as it doesn't get Rick the Brick killed. Fair. Well, you know, I have a great idea for a new thing. <laughs> Set in the same world. So if oh. you guys die, it's a really cool idea. Okay. okay. So we're good. How uh, much does it draw from the Food Network? <laughs> None, unfortunately. Oh! <laughs> Hold up, I need to I need to say this. Oh god. The amount of people this is to you, Internet. Internet. Not not like to not to Susan. you specifically. <laughs> <laughs> not to you guys that are watching, but to the D D community as a whole. And by that I mean like three or four people. But like the amount of people that have been running, asking questions, and doing all this shit that are like Running an escape from Flavor Town one shot. How would you? How would you write Guy Fieri in your game? Because of that T-shirt ah. that's Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. Drivers and Driving the Dive. People have been like running games in there like it's unique, and that's not fucking true. I've been doing that for three fucking years. Yeah. But, but I just wanted to like it. Just yeah. if there's a train heist in the new Wizards of the Coast book, I'm gonna be mad. I've only done pre-written stuff, so I'm cool. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. Unicorns that don't talk. <laughs> it's a mad unicorn. Mute unicorns. Mutacorns. It, it was mad. No, uh, we'll never know. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, no. I just, I really just. You my ears. and I corn. But anyway, not here. Uh, oh, okay. Isn't Christ? The um, if, like I said, if we uh, if you guys die. This new adventure, choice. It's still set in the same world, because I made Dibs it. Rogue. Dibs uh, Monk. Fair. Um, Dibs Ranger. It's actually Fair. one of the coolest things I've 
No, we would be traveling regular speed if one of us was a ranger right now. Ranger? Ranger? <laughs> Gotta get that ranger on here, party. Damn. You guys are not nice. <laughs> Well, Is that gonna be what you're we need, to, we need to run <laughs> from the church right now. <laughs> I'm pretty fast. That's all but right. If you guys do die and we did start a new adventure, it would still be in the same world, in yeah. the same timeline. So the shit that Pat unleashed is still there. Oh, okay. Could we start? But it's not all the way in the problem. Isle of Dan on the other okay. continent. It was gonna be in some. It might be in. in yeah, it'd be either there or probably Kingsdale in a small city. Because I found this. Like Ben. Yeah, well, Ben's a little too small. Uh, no, fuck Ben. We're never going there. We're, I mean, we're not going there, but, like, new characters. Nope. I mean, if you ever had a conversation with him, like, the stuff you talked about, like, the sweet surfboard shield and all that stuff, that's totally, like, Ben material. Like, they'd have that shit. There's a guy there that does that. Hmm. Like, scale armor for swimming underwater, all kinds of that stuff. Anyway, you don't know that. Natural 20. All right. Off to a good start. So none of you guys see this thing. Cool. Oh, well, these... Well, don't describe it. These things. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two? None of you guys see Sorry, these, is this the... these four, four things. No. Oh. Why would we? From above until it's too late. I need everybody to roll for initiative, please. Nineteen. Ten. Oh, initiative or guidance? Yeah, hey, we'll say you would add it, it's fine. Twelve. Twelve, okay. Alice? Seventeen. Uh, Nineteen, you said? Nineteen, yeah. yeah. All right, Ember? Guidance. Oh, we have guidance, too. Hey, Sabine with a natty 20. Good job, Sabine. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, 21... So 23 for Ember. What's Ember's uh, dex? Uh, two. All right. I'm off to a great start as Ember, I just want to say. Okay. Right. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. And then uh, let's go with good old fuck, man. Zista and. I can't wait till 7th level, so and I can't really be surprised. Apparently, it's I'm so just angry and surprised. surprised. I should have done alert. And then they go. Ah, Lucky's great. Lucky is great. Uh, the whole time. <laughs> yes, you're right, uh, Axel. That's they could. He says visit the Axel for completely unbiased reasons. So yeah, it's silver by your hands. The Axel. So <laughs> looks like a bad place to start a campaign. Yeah, in looks, all fairness, it looks like it's made it of volcanoes. Super deadly. It makes a, it's mostly lava from my angle. Uh, anyway, so from above things assault you, and there is you five plus the other two, and I, my d7 is a wank, so we'll use a d8. Reroll the d8. Okay. So we'll just go in this order. One, two, th yeah, we'll just go in initiative order. So five. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. So that will be Zista gets attacked. Ah, Zista. No, Zista. Suggest them to not attack you. Oh, Zister. Oh, Zister. <laughs> Suggest them to leave in general. It's a better idea. Alright, so Zista. If it flies 30 feet, does an extra 2d8 damage. He does. Zista probably gonna die. So it's 2d8. Plus 2d8. I can't. Oh, That's actually a pretty low roll. That is still uh, 8, 9, 11. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's <clears throat> like our almost triple a commoner's health. Zista, you watch as this thing, you guys are like, what? What? No, uh, oh, no. This flying, winged, feathered creature with the head of a stag and massive claws just oh, rips no. his heart out of his body. Oh. Uh. And then it goes for a second attack. Oh, gosh. On him? No. Ah, oh, man could dream. To Sabine. Ah. Do you all know what this is? Fairy time? Yeah. So then it misses Sabine. Then the second one. It's more like a unicorn. No, they're friendly and can talk and heal. What? Sabine That again. is not my experience. <laughs> Unicorns. Sabine, another natural one. They do not like Sabine. Yeah. They do like her. One, <clears throat> three, four, five, six. Wait. You get attack this 
one is not diving, though. Hmm. Is it only a 15? I think that misses. Yeah, it does. Okay. Then number three. Going over. Oh, no. Selwyn. <laughs> oh, man. They do look like easier targets. Uh, that's an eight, so that misses on the dive attack, but it's going to go for its second attack, no. which is a 23. Selwyn, you have so much to live for. Channel the healing power of your crystals. Oh, oh she is. Oh, they don't actually... What? Heal. What she so said. that does eight points to Selwyn, and she surprisingly still so alive. Aha! And the final one. There's power in the crystals. There's Sabine again. They ah. love Sabine. Yeah. She looks delicious. She looks threatening, she looks threatening, she looks threatening from ten feet away. <laughs> uh, and then it's going to get... On level five, so I can like grab something and then punch it. Fair. Take eight points of damage. Then it goes to Sabine's turn. I feel like I'm gonna be a much more effective battle rager at five. Fair. All right. Oh no! Or I can just grab two things. I'm gonna be pretty much as effective, but way better at not dying. That's super important to I love not dying. It's been one of my favorite things. Yeah. Whenever it happens. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Actually, no, I don't appreciate when it doesn't happen. I just don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate when it happens. Yeah. That is 11 points. You take that dying for granted. You do. Every Plus day. Unless you're Flint, you die twice. In one day. You don't take no. it for granted. Had a bad day. Yeah, bad day. So she take one, one down. She Save hits twice with her glaive, doing sixteen points to one of these creatures. Oh, yeah. she hit the butt. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm stupid. No, she doesn't, because they all fly back up. Huh? Because they have flyby, and that was a surprise round anyway. Oh, right. damn. So they are thirty feet up. So she will ray of frost it. So it's a D8. Eight. This points. is a scenario where Earthbind would come in handy. Um, so she does eight points to it, uh, and its speed is reduced by ten feet. Uh, Ember. Uh, Ember is going to definitely make a magic thing happen. There are four of them. Dumb. They are circling menacingly above Dumb. you. And Dumb. you can see... Just the saliva dripping from their sharp teeth and this stag head. Imagine, if you will, the head from Evil Dead 2 with sharp teeth on the body of a winged creature with sick talons just staring down at you. She's oh, terrible. All right. That sounds nice. Um, she's going to shatter as many of them as she can. All right. I will say that the way they're set up, she can get two. Cool. Um, she's she's going to shatter both. Which, uh, she doesn't have any ranged fire spells. She doesn't have like a firebolt. She has fire bolt, but like there's four of them. Or, yeah, there's four of them, so that's dumb. But she has which dragon's one? breath, which was, has a the same range as burning hands, so they're right. redundant. Uh, so you've got group one. Which, we'll just split them this way. How about this one? group one and group two are going at the same time, but the one basically you can get the one that the, with the group that Sabine hit or the two that are on. Top. Yeah, she's gonna go for the one that Sabine hit. Okay. So they're gonna make con saves. Con saves. The uh, GC. Uh, fifteen. It's a fail and a pass. Six, nine, and fifteen. Fifteen total. So we'll give this guy the fifteen damage. And this guy at the eight. All right. So you guys watch as there's sort of almost like a boiling energy in the air, almost as if. She didn't have scorching, right? Uh, you know, like on a hot day, the air kind of solidifies in a cubic fashion around these creatures. <laughs> uh, they take two damage. Rick? i ready in action to grab one of these things. Okay. Do you rage first? Or nah. You? Okay. In case they don't attack you at all. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. And um, I'm going to be like, everybody get close together. So that I can grab one if they attack us again. So, this is dead. Yes. Selwyn is still alive, and she will move over, and she'll draw, like, a booted dagger, and she will literally crawl on her stomach underneath your legs. All right. <laughs> oh, that's smart. So they have to get to you first. Yes, that's smart. 
Uh, Oz. Good move. Uh, I'm going to pull out my crossbow and try and shoot war. Yeah, I'm just do that. Watch the spikes. Yeah, what? She's like, yeah, we're good. Wide stance. Uh, which, which one would you like to go for? Uh, the one that was Ray of Frosted. Okay. Um, that was a one, so I'm going to reroll that because I'm a halfling. You're also lucky. I am. But I'm not using a lucky because I don't need to. Uh, so that's a 21 to yeah, hit. Yeah, that definitely is. Um, so that's seven damage. Yeah. All right. You hit this thing with a crossbow bolt. It's sticking into it. It's seemingly still alive. Fair. Um, oh, let's say you had to see. I'm sorry. You have a bonus action. What was action high? I think I can. Also under Rick. <coughs> yeah. Top. I'm gonna toll of the dead one of them. Uh, one of the ones that was damaged. I yes. Assume. The one that he just shot, or the other one? The one he just shot. Okay. So I have to make a wisdom save. Yes, you do. Fourteen. Fourteen wisdom. Fourteen. Thirteen plus one. So Oof. I thought I would have assumed they would have had negative, but I guess they're gonna be observant. Uh, all right. It is their turn. So they're all gonna fly in the thirty feet. Okay. Attack. So let's see how we do. Uh, reroll the eights. Can the one do that since its speed was lessened by ten? Uh, yeah, they have sixty feet of movement. Perfect. Good thought, though. Uh, one, two, three, four. So wait, this one's coming at you. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll say it's the damage. Thing. Can I grab it? Uh, were you guys all clustered up together like that? That's what I suggested. Okay, sure. We'll say that, yeah, you, your trigger was when it got close. So, yeah. yeah, go ahead and make an athletics check. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm good at. Uh, 17. You're so athletic. Nine. So, Duh! you have a grapple. Ah, great. That was your action. Yes, so, sir. You have a grapple. Um, so, it's grappled by you. It's still going to attack you, though. That's fair. I'm going to try anyway. Uh, you can. Uh, 18 hits. Yeah. You are going to take four, seven points ah. of uh, piercing damage from its talons. Ouch. And then it's going to try and gore you with its head. And get a 20. And deal to you another Great five damage. points. All right. And it takes damage too, correct? Or is it yeah, only it when you're raging? Oh, only when I'm raging. Right? Or no, no. When I get attacked, it, it deals damage that's equal to my rage. Yeah, I don't remember. Two? Oh, no, and raging. Things. And raging? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Which doesn't make sense. Should just be all the time. So I don't know. Axel's in the chat. You take up with him. <laughs> um, second one, wave again. All right, wave. This one's coming at you. Yeah. Diving down. Not the first one. Natty 20. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Lucky? Oh, no, it would have to be against me. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Indoor. You need to get some adamantine, my friend. This is a lot. Six. Twenty five is eleven. Should I ask for that instead of Sabine? (laughs) Eighteen. Uh twenty five. Thirty three. Shit. Forty. Three points of damage. Oh my god. Holy shit. I have two health. That was its first attack. Oh. Should grab that one. <laughs> then it's going to hit you with the second one. And that was a talon. And it's a gore attack, which is going to deal ten points. Mm. All right, I fall unconscious. You fall unconscious, immediately stabilized. Yes. So you're not bleeding out. Yes. Good. So it can't rip your heart out. Great. That is good. Not this so turn. Then it's the third one's turn. Which now it's going to go for us. Oh, then it flies away. This can do that. Ah! Uh, this does a 19 hit you. Uh, it does. I do have a question, though. Yes. Can Sabine attack them as a reaction since they enter her? Does she have that? She... She's been given them the butt, so I assume she has Polar Ambassador. She has Sentinel, too, does. right? She does. She does have Sentinel. 
So she should be able to. Once make her real. Well, but it's something within five feet of her. Ten feet. Well, it's, I think, I think Sentinel is within five feet. Oh, okay. When someone within five feet of you is the target of an attack, you can make the reactionary attack. Or I guess when they enter her range. Yeah, so the next one, we'll have her attack. Mm. Cool. So you are going to take 21 points of piercing damage. Oh, good. From the Talon. And then a 15? 15 misses. Okay. Yeah. And then this one's going to go at Sabine, and when it gets within 10 feet, she's going to attack it and roll an 8 and miss. And then it's going to attack her. Um, and then it's going to hit. That changes shit. She hits on that reaction. Yes. That is 14, 17 points to Sabine. Second attack. And then it also flies up. So. That's when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, you can use your reaction. Right, but it entered her reaction. It entered ten feet. Polar Master. Polar Master's ten feet. Yeah. Right. I was mixing them. So then it is Sabine's turn. So we'll Ray of Frost, the one that she's been... Or you grabbed the one that was being Ray of Frost. Yeah, I grabbed whichever one to go first. Yeah, that's that one. So she'll Ray of Frost, but different. 19, 5 points of cold damage. And then she'll action surge, cast Armor of Agathis on herself. Smart. Uh, Ember. Uh, Ember is going to, uh, I guess the Fireball one. Okay, which one? Boring. Uh, whichever one just got Ray of Frosted. Okay. She's going to try and do something. All right. Four. Oh, 16 on the roll. So a 24. Yep. That's a D. 10. That counts as a fire spell, too. Right? Yep. Six damage. Oh, does she add a thing? No, she no. rerolls ones. Okay. So, yeah, six damage. Um, six damage, right? Mark a, mark a thing. Rick. Wait, um, does she have, like, healing word as a bonus action? Is that her? No. No, that's that's him. That's him. Yeah. She has cure wounds. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Because I was like, oh, she could bonus action. But she can't. If she had it. quicken spell. Yeah. She could. Oh, I think she. She knows. She has spell. twin and twin. Yeah, twin and next time. So she could have twinned her fireball and hit two. Yeah. But she didn't. To be fair, she didn't. Yeah, someone twin. should know their role. Someone should. Rick. Um, I'm gonna rage now. Because this thing just pecked me right in the face. Bonus action to yeah. rage. So I'll do that as my bonus action, and then I am going to punch it right in the face. Go ahead and make an attack. I am going to attack my list. Sure. One okay. and twenty. Yeah, that's very jig. That is very jig. All right, go ahead and roll me some damage. Um, so. And five. Six plus seven is thirteen. Yeah, you just basically <clears throat> right into this guy. All right. And it just collapses in your arm. <laughs> and it just falls and it just goes limp. I gently place it on top of Selwyn. Like, it's good cover. <laughs> and she's like, all right. <laughs> uh, then it's her turn. And she takes the dodge action. <laughs> Tell me <the> dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Which side of the head am I? <laughs> uh, then it is us. Um, there are three left. One has been hit pretty good. The other two are untouched. They are... This one's dead. <gasps> Thanks. I don't know are, if you knew. And they're all 30 feet. Uh, one of them is only 20 feet up because it had been ray of The other two are 30 I can feet almost up. jump up to ground. I think I know what I'm going to do. Do you? But I need to check the spell part out first. What spell? Sleep. Yeah. I'm gonna sleep in the area in the thing so it gets the guy who's been a guy. You know. Right. You sleep a guy in the yeah. area who's sleep. been a guy. Okay, good. Roll your sleep. Um. 5d8. 5d8. Oh god. 5d8. 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 
Let's see what I get. That's 11. Seek upcast. Uh, 11 plus. Better than almost everything. Six, six is 17. 17 plus 1 is 18. Does right. he fall asleep? He does. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> but he hits the ground. He takes 2d6 falling damage. Because he fell, it drops immediately. He dies. <laughs> that comes to the ground dead. The most effective sleep spell ever. The one you never wake up from. The deepest sleep. <laughs> uh, anything else? Good move. I know that was enough. Okay. Uh, You're I guess conscious. Boom. You don't get to make that save. You're stable. You're good to go. <laughs> Doing good. It's like a blessing and a curse. Yeah. You just have to hang out. You can't sit good. there and be like, come on, natural. Oh, no. I'll endure it. Anything but a natural one. No, it's, it's ah. six. Um, then it is Sabine's turn. These guys are still up there. Ray of Frost again. That's not Sabine's die. That's worse. Sabine, why did you use that die? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Miss. Um, but she does have the armor bag this up. Cool. Oh, wait. I skipped them. They should go, huh? Probably. I guess. Yeah. So they're going to go. So let's see the order here. Uh, so Sabine. All right. Get them when they get in, Sabine! So that uh, she comes in, she's going to hit it. And miss. Damn. She doesn't hit it. But it's going to get a 17. And it's roll, so that will just hit her. Oof, she's getting bad at me. These guys are doing some damage. 23. But only... She only takes 13 because 10 of that was her temporary hit points from Armor Bag. Uh, Armor Bag, so it takes 10 points of cold damage Good. from him and her. Let's go try to hit her again. That's going to do so. And heal 9 points of damage. It's a solid type of Tifa. Yeah. I like that Tifa. That, that actually might. She's up. She don't look great, but she's up. Um, that was one. Mm. The, there's still another one. Oz. Yes? It's going for you. Oh, shit. That's in that one. Yeah. So the big attack misses. The second one is a 16. Uh, a 16 misses. Nice. Then uh, they both fly up 30 feet. Um, then it goes to Sabine, who will ray a frost. The one that got armor back at this. Second one. And she will take the deal of damage. So she cool. will deal oof, two points. Ooh. Got him! But uh, level five, it's 2d8, so at least you get a better shot yeah. at something. You can and then, always yeah, do two damage. So she will second wind. Next level, everyone gets substantially better. Thanks. Yeah, I guess it's substantially Four. So she's going to get 8 HP back. Extra. Damage back. Um, yeah. Ember. It's, it must uh, Ember is going to... Yeah, she's going to run over to... Uh, wave. Wave and use her cure wounds. Yeah. <laughs> One per day. Plus, plus, I think, charisma. Five she's at. Yeah. 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 So that is 16 health. Woo. Nice. And she says something snarky that I don't want to do. I get knocked down. But I get up again. Why am I British? Why I was going to say, like, oh, it, we have got an accent somewhere. He's found an accent <laughs> right into him. Sorry. He found it. I got hit on the head. I'll get uh, you. Rick. Uh, mm, uh, Throw a rock at it. Grab one of Wave's javelins. Okay. You don't have any javelins? I don't think I start with javelins. No, you start with hand axes. axes. Yeah. Oh. Barbarians start with hand axes, not javelins. I'll throw a hand axe at him. Uh, is that a throne weapon? No. Yeah. It's, 30. But it's a disadvantage because I think its distance is 20, 60. So 30, but, but I can But you're wrong. recklessly doing it, so... It's just regular. Uh, I think 
I'm okay. I might be twenty. Index twenty sixty. So I'm gonna grab one of Wave's javelins. <laughs> this was my initial instinct. All right. And I'm gonna throw it at it. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack roll. All right. And I can't recklessly attack throws. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> recklessly. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. That is. All right. I'm gonna deal seven damage. Okay. And then um, what's your what's your strength mod? Oh, the additional barbarian damage is oh, only for yeah for melee attacks. Got it. Uh, so. All right, Rick. Uh, Shame. So that one takes the dodge action. Just oh, good. Um, go. Yeah, crossbow, I guess. Okay, same one that got the javelin. Yeah. <clears throat> you could wait until it was within range, and then you could sneak attack it. But you might get knocked unconscious before that happens. Yeah, I'm real low on health, so I'm just going to shoot it. Oh, maybe I won't. Mm, maybe I'm lucky. Yeah. Woohoo! One better. Fifteen. Fifteen hits? Yeah. yeah, it does. Roll big. Okay, I'll take it. Roll um, home. Eleven. Damage. Okay, yeah, this one is still up, but it's got a javelin in it. It's got a crossbow quarrel in it. You are now conscious. Oh. Toll of the dead. On that particular one? I yep. Assume. Bong. <laughs> that real funny. Bong. <laughs> Sorry, but you do have your bonus action. An action surge. Can I do that? With action surge, you could. I will action surge and guiding bolt. Okay, just need attack roll. And then you should bonus action second one. Yeah. So that is 20. Okay. Are you attacking the one that's been damaged, or are you yes. attacking the other one? I am. Fuck. Well, after I got in bolt, I can sneak attack. Uh, so that's 12? Yeah. <laughs> You hit this thing, it's glowing, so the next person will have advantage, but it's dead. Mm. So you can second it, obviously, if you want. Afterlife. And I'm gonna sneak attack it. Sneak Ooh. attack it in the afterlife. Yeah. Good. And it's plus the level, right? Plus yep. your fighter level. So yeah. max. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Sweet. Nice. You went from not that very a, healthy to. That was a big door. turn. It's a 30 point swing. Yeah. 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 Alright, so then Pretty it's. Good for. The last one. He's gonna go for reroll the eight. Ember. Nobody attacks me. <laughs> and so he misses again. Ah, that's me. Ember. Ooh, that's gonna be a twenty-one. Twenty-one is gonna hit no matter what she does. Shield. Exit a twenty. Shield anyway. For role playing purposes. Nah, nah. Nobody does that. Five, so 20 points. Ooh. Second attack. Shit. 24. That will also hit. That does four points. Oof. She has four HP. Ah, we're getting wrecked today. It's a bad day. I love pack points. They're real fun. A lot of damage. They're actually, yeah, well, that extra 2d8 on the dive and then the flyby. Yeah. Pretty clutch. Makes it pretty sweet if you're a 13th level paladin and choose that as your mount. Internet. Or tempo level rogue. Or bard, rather. South of rogue, too. Yeah. Uh, that is their turn. Rick. Um. I'm sorry, that was their turn. Yeah. And it's Sabine's turn. My bad. I keep mixing that up. It's fine. I still want that. Oh, Sabine. Yeah. Spike one. So it works. Ember. Uh, she. Oh, Ember is upset now. Actually, if I was really trying to play it like Celine, this is where she would do Flames of... Or yeah, Mantle of Flame. <laughs> right now. This is where she would... The last flame. guy. Yeah. Um, so, you know what? She's just gonna... F Chill touch. Huh. So can't heal. Smart. Super smart. Or because he doesn't want the fire to go off? 
I, I, I haven't even thought of that, Ted. That's a added benefit, I guess. Could be. Blatantly lying. If there were something. <laughs> this is a... Natural 20! Oh, yeah. Uh, if only those would be 10s. If only. Because those would be... Did you roll a 1 in there? No. Because okay. that would be re rolled. Uh, so that is uh, 10 damage. 10 crawl. Right. There's a little Not ghostly cold? hand ripped to it. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. No, that's silly, Pat. Don't think she'll touch this cold damage. <laughs> you silly. Amateur. Silly Billy gumdrops. Uh, Rick. I'm gonna throw a javelin at it. Okay. Ah, a 20. That hits. Alright. Ah, six damage. Okay, it's gonna javelin stick it in it. Salon takes a dodge action. Oz. Oz is going to. Shoot it. Makes sense. Uh, 20 to hit. Uh, 12 damage. Okay, it's got a crossbow bolt and a javelin. Wait. Bong. <laughs> it's extra 19. funny because it's wave. Uh, <laughs> it's turn. It dives. Four. So lucky I keep rolling. Rick. Yeah! Alright. I'm doing okay, I'm fine. It would be hard pressed to oh, kill me. Ah, but. 19 hits. I was checking to see if Earthbind is a illusion or enchantment spell. It sound like either of those. No, it's transmutation. Yeah. I was hoping it might be enchantment, because you're being like, hey guy, stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. But that's not it at all, I have the spell. 12 points. Alright. Because that would actually be a good spell for me to take. Yeah. And it takes two points of damage. I didn't realize this that. It's like, fuck that. Oh. <laughs> if it takes two more points of damage. Yeah, that would be it. So that's going to go for Ember. <laughs> oh no, she don't like that. Hellish Rebuke. She doesn't have uh, that. Oh no. Does a 14 hit? Uh, 14 does not hit. Really? Yeah, she has a 15, 15. AC with eight, with Mage Armor. Oh shit. Which she always casts. Well, yeah, we'll say. I mean, if not, say. she has a 17 with Shield. Yeah, so either way. Uh, then it is Sabine's turn. Hey, Did she roll a one? She fucking rolled a one. It's still alive! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Ember. Uh, yeah, she, now she's gonna fireball. Yeah, come on, you shitty bird. Ten plus seven, seventeen. Yeah. Ah, and it dies, but the counter hit. No, it might not. If you roll a one on this d10, uh, and then a one a second time. Well, she gets that. That was her fifth fire spell. Well, no, but she so has to happen now. We'll we'll see. Okay. Let's see if you roll a one. Ten. Ten. All right. So <laughs> because if you roll the one and then re-roll the ones and got a one again, it would still be alive with one health. Oh wow! It had five health. Took two damage from the spikes to wow. one damage. So it was Damn. doing so hot. Okay. You flying shitty bird. Yeah. That's and five. Uh, yeah. So what percentage do you want? Uh, I'm going to go, I want... Let's me shoot at Uh, no. You want the, the up the, percentage go of for the... the high side, man. So you're going for the, what's it, the top 70%? No, you yes. don't want to get so below you You're trying not to get below Below, 30. below 30. Yeah. I... Got a 38. Yay. Okay. So, survive another time. All right, guys. We got to fight something new. <sighs> Ow! What kind of shitty birds are those? Um, dumb birds. <laughs> they're, they're dumb, shitty birds. Yeah, with antlers. Maybe, like, talk funny. For, like, two For a hot seconds. Dog, yeah. yeah. All right, this is a gross, and I hate it. Um... This place sucks, and yeah. I hate it too. Yeah, let's uh, Lee, take the antlers. Why? Sure, for fun. That's right. You could like grind them up into like a dust, and then use them in potions. Maybe. Uh, not me. And Sabine's like, how do you know that? Herbalism. Good point. I feel Al like that, like it's alchemy. Alchemy. I feel like just the also the, a good the, point. The the dust the. The fuck I forget what it's called. The fur? The yeah, antler fur? 
Feather? Feathers? Oh, the, the velvet. velvet. Yeah. That's good for... Is there velvet on these ones? No, they don't have velvet. These guys don't. Oh. All right. Well, fuck me then. No, I'm all right. I think so. It was a... It's, it's not... It was an invitation. It sounded exactly like an It's invitation. an exclamation. I mean, I didn't explain like it. underneath when she's like, it kind of sounds like an invitation. <laughs> if it, I, I'll pick it up while we're <laughs> She's like, oh my god. I forgot you were down there. She's like, it worked very well. So, yeah. Uh, so, do you guys want to rest for an hour? Try and recoup our stuff? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, there you go. You can ride about. What time in the day is it? Uh, we'll say it's like noon. All right. You guys want to stop uh, for an hour, rest, maybe have some lunch? Sure. Because it's ow. Yeah. Is my point. That's fair. Um, all right. I'm going to put some rocks on Zista's body. And then rest. I'm gonna say a little something about Zista and her, her his, his scout relief and the, his existence and what are you gonna say? What he added to the game. Do you have anything specific you wanna say or I'm, just like a general I will tell you a second. Mm-hmm. If, I could, if I could prepare a prayer. Oh, yeah, then you obviously can. That's One. something you can do. Yeah. Short rest deal? Uh yeah, obviously if you guys want to do anything short rest related you can do that. Yeah, I would love to do short Rest yeah, girl. Things. See how many hit and dice HP. I gotta use. What? I'll say, oh, oh, ten. oh, Zista, the Black Mamba. You had such strong plants, with such strong smell, and it was so distinct. No one else could really provide that upbeat, a feeling that mellows you into a deep state of relaxation. You will be greatly missed. Oh man, that was that was beautiful, Zista. You offered to help me kill everybody else in the party if I felt like it. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I appreciate the call. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rick, Rick, what? Your heart was in the right place. No, it wasn't. It was in the wrong place. <laughs> He's dead, all right? Just leave him alone. You brought it up. Yeah, because I was, I was talking to him because he's dead. Like, I can't have a minute to talk to him while I put rocks on top of his body. Like, you can, but I can hear you talking. Well, obviously, if I, I mean, I told him. I said, no, and I won't tell anybody, but no. But you just told us. Well, he's dead, so it doesn't matter now, does it? I mean. Change your perception of him now, but he's dead, so it doesn't I'm, matter. I'm, I'm getting mixed signals from this. <laughs> What like, big sig- I should I should have some respect because he's dead, but like now you're breaking the promise, and that doesn't matter because he's dead. Like I don't know how to treat I don't know how to treat dead people around you now. Just endure. Just endure. What does that mean? Just endure. In that scenario, what does you're, that mean? You're doing it right now. Look, right now we're outdoors. He's saying get indoors. Oh. No, that was that was well, Black that's... Mama's growing style. No, 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 no. Endure, not indoor. How does that help me in this scenario? It's a small moon. Go through the motion, oh, man. A forest moon, even. Go yeah. through the motion like the tide. It just happens. <laughs> ah, gently place it on it. <laughs> what is that? I was picking up rock. Oh, with one hand? I mean, I'm strong. Yeah, but you're equally as strong. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a... How do you gently place it? As it does that, the like three of the rocks that you just put on get pushed off to the side. You hear a little squelch as the rock kind of hits, knocks the rocks off, and like dismembers part of like his face or structure gets caved in. Uh, well, as he just... just goes like this with a like fucking shoots a rock, like shot puts a rock on top of this cairn that you're trying to build. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just sorry, I, I made you sorry. corpse suffer. I just I just feel like that was a. <sighs> It was shocking, okay, that this guy who's been traveling with us for a day and a half was trying to kill us in our sleep. No, no, no. He wasn't trying to. He offered to because I was complaining about your snoring. Oh. Well, that's reasonable. Why, yeah. why didn't you just say that? Well, because you said, Whoa, you freaked out. <laughs> you kind of made a... You, ma- you dropped a bomb without what? context. Uh, what? I was I was trying to mourn up uh, my night watch buddy. Speaking of mourn, does he have oh, any okay. uh, black mama on him? Uh... You can't loot his corpse, man. It's not looting. It is looting his corpse. In Gouger, man, the best way to, to celebrate somebody... I feel like you're making this up right now. <laughs> ...is to indulge in the Gouger leaf, man. Well, why don't you endure without it instead? <laughs> <laughs> because it helps the... <clears throat> oh. He's, probably, he's like pretty much covered in rocks now. He might have <clears throat> had it, but that's with him. Now you'll have to take... 
Now you have to desecrate the, no. the gravesite no. together. Uh, if he had some seeds on him, now yeah. under all of this, maybe they'll grow and that's they'll just be a here. patch of. That's beautiful. I'm trying to cheer gonna, him up. I'm you gonna, are the worst at morning. I'm going to create a little <laughs> well, water. Well, it's afternoon. I'm going to create a little water. You know so what I mean. You're not that dumb. No, you're on, right. And, and In hopes death. that. Okay, yes. sure. You could Through his death, there will there might be life. All right, yeah, hey, why not, right? Give it a shot. So, yeah, you have you do that. And hope for the best. Maybe we'll find out one day. Um, so. Good luck. Hmm. One thing you guys did notice, I will say, uh, during the time of the, you know, the fight with these creatures, the strangest the thing yeah. that probably didn't is, didn't help to alert you to their descent upon you was that their shadows don't look like they didn't look like the creatures. They look like a humanoid oh. figure. The shadows. So yeah. that's probably why they were able to get the drop on you, because the shadows from above don't look like winged creatures. You guys are about like, noon. You guys are walking around, so you're like, ah, it must just be us, you know, a little bit. But yeah, that's something that you noticed. Weird. All right, so watch out for your shadows, guys. And the ones you can't see. Because like, they might be watching. Who might? The that? Scourge. Oh. Yeah. I guess let's just be generally paranoid about everything. Ha! Seems to me if you're doing a great job, right, Rick. Cool. Let's head out. Chat says, uh, well, Mud Puppy says specifically, it doesn't count as grave dropping unless they're buried. I'm pretty sure that's a rule. <laughs> I think he's right. No, no. It's looting. Not a grave. It's looting ah, his corpse. Looting the corpse. Which is, which is regardless of amount of burial. That is fair. Yeah, so, all right, you guys uh, break from lunch. Ah. I mean, Sullen will set, like, a couple crystals on top of the cairn. So, how you doing? She's like, well, honestly, uh, not great. This is, like, I've watched a lot of people die in, yeah. like, two days. It's been shitty. I have no home now. Mm -hmm. My business is clearly faltering. Did you, uh, were you friends with Blake? Uh, <coughs> like, well, no, what I mean, he was around. Like, I, I didn't have anything against the guy. I mean, he was there, and yeah. he was a business guy, and he was, you know, bringing, you know, doing additional business in the town, and extra strains are always welcome, you know. It makes people buy more crystals, and I'm all on board for that. Because he was heading south to Westwick to reestablish his business there. So when we get there, maybe you guys could, maybe since he's selling some uh, gouge relief, maybe there'll be a sudden interest in crystals. And she's like, yeah, I mean, that might be, yeah. It might be, yeah. That might be a thing. Yeah. All right, let's head out. Okay, cool. Did you, did you know what he did? Is she currently someone? injured? No, she's, She's okay. Oh, now. She, uh, she, after her short after rest, the short rest, yeah, she's okay. Good Cause she took damage. She I just want to make sure oh, that she, she wasn't probably gonna die. Short rest, heal Celine. Probably. Yeah. I want to ask her if she knows about what Blake did to me and if she was okay with that. Oof. I don't say anything. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> no. Seven. <laughs> Why? I'm just curious. Cause he said it was like the town all agreed to Fuck. this was like the right thing to do and she goes well I sell crystals Amber you alright so um, if it had something to do with the gouge relief production that doesn't really affect my business hmm. as long as there's gouge relief or people that no. want crystals then, then I'm good so plus so really is 14, me. 14 plus 4 is but when was that I don't even how long ago was that over a year um, I, know I didn't roll were, higher than a two on her short rest. <laughs> it died. Two, one, one, two. Mm. So with all four, she regained 14 hit points. <sighs> She's like, yeah, I know the town, there was, a, like, there was like murmurs of stuff going weird in the town about a year ago. Uh, then there was a fire, and now there is no town. So... Guess that doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah. At that yeah. point, Ember says, "Like, so it doesn't matter who did the fire, because the town's gone." And she's like, "Well, I didn't say that, but someone did the fire." No, like what happened? I mean, like what fire? Calls it how fire? fire. It's like a lightning strike. Yeah. Right. Was there a storm that night? She's like, 
I think there was, says Ember. Oh, you were there? Yeah, I was. I told you. Oh, okay. I was working on his family phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know that. You know that. Yeah. Anyway, I get up and start walking. It was a bad storm. <clears throat> Those are Oz's tiny legs. And then someone's just I'm like, unless he's clomper. stealthing, then it's... Can't hear that. This is me stealthing. You never know. You might do okay. A disadvantage. Eight. Five. Never mind. <laughs> it's the... It's the armor. I can't possibly stealth that badly. I, I can only stealth twice as good as that. Yes, but how athletic are you? Um, do acrobatics count? No. Oh, then not very. Ah. <laughs> because... Well, you have things that you're good at, and I have things, things that I'm good at. Like, yeah, like very terrible. important things. Yeah. There are three very important things. Hitting, yeah. getting hit, athletics. Yeah. I'm not good at any of those things. You're good at hitting. Well, it's not like it. It's a different, it's more of a it's, I mean, it's still hitting, thing. though. Yeah. Like, if I punch you, you probably, you won't even feel it. Yeah. Like, I'll hurt my hand. Actually, probably. <laughs> Spiky. Yeah. If I punch you, you would probably feel it. Yeah, probably, yeah. Don't sneeze. <laughs> like, ever? Ever. It's bad luck. You ever see me sneeze? Nope. I don't sneeze. I don't think so. That's because I don't sneeze. It's bad luck. How? Well, like, we're out in nature. There's pollen. There's, like, all this stuff. Doesn't bother me. What doesn't bother you? It's pollen. And other stuff. I'm gonna get you to sneeze. I don't think so. Someone's just like, well, if he, if he sneezes, then you gotta punch him. What? Yeah, you gotta punch me. That's the thing. Oh, no, I don't wanna. Or else, or else you'll get sick, too. You got it, man. You gotta punch away the demons. Somebody's got it. That's not a thing. I'm pretty sure it is. That's not a... I'm not doing that. Agree to disagree. I'm... Okay. Hi. Right. Uh, yeah, so you guys continue... <laughs> you guys continue walking. Uh, Going south to go to war. I was trying to avoid war previously, but now I guess that's what's going on. Uh, it may have started another one. Yeah, we don't have that much food left. How much food mm -hmm. did you bring? Mm -hmm. I gave away the majority of yeah. the food that I have. So right now I have uh, 12 days of rations. Is that all you've got? That's all I've got. What about the rest of you? I don't know. Five days? Standard? Yes. Some, I think some classes start with ten. I'll have to say with that. Because I bought rations up in Brickens Homestead. Uh, or before we left um, Carrick Farn, I bought rations. We went to Brickens Homestead, but then I bought rations for the ship, and that got stolen at Gowager. <laughs> Which was good, though, because that means all those guys are alive. Um, the world as far as we know, um, and they're alive. Then I gave they're not necessarily going to be sailing that ship that well. My eighty pounds of macaroni to the other group. Yeah, and so I have twelve days of rations left. Got it. Okay. And uh, Selwyn doesn't have any food. Huh? Mm, she's got crystals. That's fair. And a dagger. Those are good things. They work similar to. Things that you could sell to buy food. And she will look like in her pack. She's got a pack. She's got some stuff. And she's got like some, some clothes. And she'll like take out a couple like look at the crystals. And she's like looking at the different crystals. Holding them up to the light. And she like picks up one. And she's like, this one's salt. Ah. So that's kind of like food. Yeah. We won't let you start. She's like, that's good. Because I've come this far. Yeah. I feel like I should... And she's like, she like picks up the more. Oh, this one's salt, too. Because like, a lot of these are salt. Uh, that's good, though, because I can cook with salt. Good. To so contribute, and then, you know, that's it. That's fair. <sighs> There's no more macaroni, though. Well, salt on macaroni is not great. I mean, you when you make macaroni, you put salt in the water. Does it make it taste salty? No, just a little. T wait, it tastes a little salty? No, no, you put a little salt in the water. Uh, because it helps soften it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, Alright. 
So now you know. You know a little bit about cooking. So you guys continue on through the evening, avoiding areas of Razor Rock and <laughs> other sun beating down on you. It's still springtime, but it is kind of arid throughout here. So it's a dry heat, and it's, it's you no, know, it's probably like 65 to 70 or so degrees. So it's not super, super hot, but you're out, and there's no cover. So you're yeah, in the sun. Long johns. <laughs> you have your long johns and your plate mail. Black. That was a mistake, maybe too. It's fine underground. Yeah. This is different. This yep, is different. This is a different scenario. So you guys continue uh, for the rest of the day. What time do you want to stop for the evening? Seven fifty. I was gonna say eight, so that works out perfectly. <clears throat> I feel like we go. I, it's it's nice to like around seven fifty. We'll start looking for a place. All right, sounds good. By the way, mm. uh, I want to tell you that I have gotten. I have to still do a review on it, but I've gotten a a document from a friend of mine who wrote the joy of monster cooking. Ooh. Which is an entire twenty something page document <coughs> about cooking monster different parts. monsters and. Like, for instance, Sturge, sous vide, mm -hmm. has Sturge, butter, onions, cream, so on, and it's like, it's the full recipe. Oh, like, the thing about Sturges is that I hate them. Yeah. And I would never eat them. But this dish makes your blood become toxic to most creatures that would want to feast upon Ooh, your blood. Well, maybe I don't hate them so much. For eight hours after eating, any creature attempting to drain your blood will succeed on a DC-12 con save. On a failure, they aren't able to feed on you with any of their abilities. Beautiful. Maybe you should send that to me. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Maybe it's unreasonable. Maybe it is. Maybe he's going to find it in a book. Yeah. Well, they also have in here chef's utensils. Ah. Which is the higher-end version of cook's utensils. Mm, doesn't sound like me. No, it's not. But... We shall see. Yeah. All right. So you guys continue on and you rest. It comes up to the evening where you guys are going to take your rest. Yes. What is the plan for this evening? Find a good place to sleep. Okay. There's none. Shit. I mean, you make me a survival check. There's maybe some that are better than others. One. You're like, oh, looks like we're under the star. We'll like, stop right here. Oh, look. There's the 20. We <laughs> got a 12, 22. Let me see that Roll the one for the check and I threw my dice back in the box. It's fine. Gotta love it. And that's how it works sometimes. Got a 19. Alright, so between Wave and Oz, you can find a place that's somewhat secluded. It's got a little bit of, you know, the rocks are a little higher here, so it gives you a little bit of a break in cover here. Alright. say it's like a bowl. Sure. It's bowl-esque. Ah. Yeah. If you squint at it hard enough. Yeah. So. I don't see it. Uh, yeah, what's the plan for watches? I'll go last again, like normal. We don't have very many people who can still see in the dark. Yeah, I'll go first again. So when you want to go with us. Are you sure? You can't see in the dark either, can you? Ember can. This means like I can. This means can too. Alright, so you should go with Wave. Yourself and I'll go by myself. Cool. Sounds good. Alright. Good night, everybody. Good mm -hmm. night, Rick. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's you and Selwyn for the first watch? Alright. I'm gonna keep my crossbow on my lap, and if I see anything vaguely food shaped, I'm gonna try and shoot it. Mm -hmm. Oh, unless it's that thing that was following us, saved our lives, showing us that the. Yeah. Guy, yes. You should give that thing some food. So yeah. Friendly. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, and you can keep a torch near you in case you need to light it. Fair. Do you have any of those matches? No. Can you just magic fire? No. You got a tinderbox, though. Oh, alright, so you're good. Yeah. Since it's dry out here. Yes. Alright, so you and Selwyn conduct your watch. Sure. Um, I've got. That's a. Uh, 
the 14 for me. Okay. Yeah, uh, goodbye uneventfully. Cool. I don't really see anything. I wake up Ember. Okay. Uh, Ember is on her watch by herself. I'm going to give her check for Ember. Gardens! Twenty-two. Seems to go by for her. Cool. Uneventfully as well. It's Sabine and Wait. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five. All right. Uh, you don't really see anything, but Sabine does. Like as everybody's sleeping, you guys are hanging out. She does say she's like. Ah, so I know this is a loaded question, but are you okay? A lot of shit went down, and I realize it's all fresh. And I realize again. That does not have the most tact, but I'm finding I um, I don't have a need for that anymore. So, you okay? Are you cool? Just like, you thought you were going to get revenge on this dude if he killed your parents, and you find out that the person you've been traveling with for a while is the one who actually did it. Granted, on accident, but still. It's a lot to chew. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. I feel like the way I found out was, I guess, the best way I could have found out. Okay. Um, it kind of was like, well, it's already happened, and my anger was misdirected, so it's kind of, I don't know, it, it didn't seem right to just, uh, we've been with, I almost called her Darian. <laughs> uh, Ember. Ember, thank you. Uh, for a while now, and so we've been through some stuff together. Well, I'm not trying to remain angry. Uh, I've just done a lot myself. So, I guess I can level with uh, destroying things. Um, I guess that gives me a level of understanding, I guess. So you're cool with the fact that you did this thing after you destroyed your town? Mm, I'm not cool with it. But no. you... So you're saying that accidentally killing your parents in a fire is the same as destroy as unleashing something on the town well it's a, it's an accident and these i guess these things happen and, and she's like they should not happen no i i, I agree with you I really happen. <laughs> but <laughs> uh. <laughs> i just said they do it, it does it happens it yeah. She's like, yeah. Uh, all right, good talk. Um, I guess. I, I, cool, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, all right. I, I do. Well, you know. Hopefully this thing doesn't kill everybody. It's time for Rick Watch. Get up. <laughs> she goes to sleep. Yeah. What's up? I'm going to guide myself to sleep. Can I do that? I don't know. Sure. Well, I'll cast any magic. That's Rick's watch. Everything goes fine. Oh, ah, shit. No, the sun comes up. Alright, everybody wake up. Okay, <laughs> fine. Oh. I mean, you can... Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Alright. You want know, five more minutes? Yeah, it's fine. I'm up now. I mean, I can, I'm starting to make breakfast. You can sleep for five more minutes. Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. It's a rock. Anything I can do to help? Wait, uh, you're cooking rocks for breakfast? No, no, no. You're sleeping on a rock. Oh, yeah. It's not the best. Yeah. Um, um, is there anything you can do to help? Um, no, it's just rations at this point. Like, I don't have anything special or fun to cook. Mm. Cool. I mean, not cool, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's hard bread. Press yeah. the digitation. Or is that Darian? No, she has it. Basically, I'm just taking this salty jerky, and I'm just going to put it in water for a little bit to soften it up, and then I was going to take the bread put it on there and that was going to be breakfast for everyone cool and then okay. when we eat it and then leave alright cool All right. Yeah, you guys eat it and then leave ah and the eat journey and leave continues as you guys
guys continue on your trek through the harsh hillside, making your way further and further. Um, and what I will say is another three days go by. Okay. So you're getting low on food now. Yeah. And it's getting to the point where some of you are starting to have to share in some situations because you're trying to feed extra mouths. Mm -hmm. Some of you didn't have rations so because you died I'm at one point. If I'm feeding Selwyn, then I have six days left. Correct. And you guys have two. Sabine mm -hmm. didn't have really any either because she died. She's just dead. Yeah. All uh, right, so I have three uh, days. Yeah, however much but... comes in a Dungeoneer's back, that's what Ember has. Good night. So. She's pretty much out. You guys are pretty close to the end of your food. And at this point, you come to a rise in the hill, and you start to peek over, and you can see, for the first time in a while, green. Oh, ten days of rations. That's what I thought. Some are five, some are ten. Burglars has five. five. Yeah, but yeah, you get all your yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Diplomats doesn't have any. Yeah, because they don't need it, because they're rich. Yeah, that's fair. Theoretically. Yeah. Entertainer has five. Priestess. Scholar doesn't have any. None. Scholar has none. Yeah, because they're supposed to... You would think they'd be in a scenario where that's not a thing they have to worry about. Yeah. Oh, no. Priest has two days of rations. Makes sense. Hmm. Going to the temple. Yeah. Get your... Just enough to subside on. Yeah. So, you guys peer over the top of this hill. And you can see that there is a semblance of green. Um, and yeah, you look down onto uh, what the map clearly does not show is a... Well, actually, what you see here is what looks to be, from all intents and purposes, currently some sort of small farming village kind of close here to the mountains. But you can see out into this landscape is a vast almost cityscape of oh. tons of different size buildings made of various materials this conclave isn't just a wide open area this is heavily populated with and you see off in the distance things floating and moving through the air that oh. doesn't seem natural to you they all sorts of of craziness um but in a village that's constantly war torn, one would think you need to still supply food. Mm -hmm. uh, and relying solely on external sources for food is a great way to get yourself cut off in a wartime scenario. So, farming is key. So, yeah, you see down a small farming community. Um, maybe half a day's walk. After you exit out of the mountains here. Ah, great. Ah, great. Get some real food. Yeah, let's do it. Let's so, head there. Um, do we have way of coming to villages with us at this point? Since he has that thing trying to look at him from invisibility. Mm. I think it's best that I not. Okay. Sure. And... I hate to get... A second village destroyed. Uh, what it looks like is this kind of, this like slight bit of green, there is a, you know, as you guys can see, kind of a path leading from over towards a coastal area, or just maybe just terminates. It's hard to see from this distance. Seems to be this small little farming community is around 12 to 15 buildings with a large, like a square okay. in the middle. All right. Why don't, why don't Wave and Sabine head up the road a little bit towards the coast? Let's pick a point to meet up. The rest of us can go, the four of us can go get some uh, get some food, get some supplies, and meet up with you there. How's that sound? Sounds good. Sounds reasonable. Ember, don't set anything on fire. I'll try not to, but I'm not good at things. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new Ember voice. Yeah, you're not so wrong. So you can tell how I'm when I'm being Ember and when I'm being Oz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and I think with that, the second set of coffee's ready. Woo! All right. So I will put up a link in the chat, but guys, guys, check out this sweet nerd emerging mug that I'm rocking right here. This is a Pokemon mug. But it's that's different. Stuff. This is yeah. this is Ted's mug to me. It says you're my favorite. That's actually like scarily accurate. <laughs> uh, but you see, Pat's also rocking the nerd emerging 
notebook, spiral bound notebook there. So these are all available on the Nerd Immersion T Public store, which I'll put a link to in the chat. There's also Belladonna's merchandise as well. We're working on getting some new things in the future. But uh, I will tell you that towards the end of June, usually around like the third or fourth week of June, um, uh, or oh, not of June, of any given month, T Public does a sale where they put everything on their website that's 30% off. So if you want to pick up coffee mugs, notebooks, t shirts, any of that stuff, usually that's the time to do it. So in like a week or two, everything will be 30% off. So nice. If you want to get these sweet mugs or a Nerd Immersion travel mug, or notebooks and things, that'll be the time to do it. So anyway, we're going to take a short break. Oh, yeah. Coffee. And then we will be right back. All right. We're, we're back. Some of our we're back, Internet. Hi, Internet. Hi, Internet. God uh, damn, you're beautiful. So we're back with uh, oh, more Edwin here. The party has just exited out of the Harsh Hillside, or is in the process of doing so, and has found themselves in a small, seemingly farm-type community of the Urban Enclave. We assume these are kobolds. That is a, probably a fair assumption, yeah. given the location. Uh, and what would you guys, how would you, two of you guys are going to the coast? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sabine and Wait, Wait, if we're gonna go. Hey, do they speak common kobolds? The most things do. Um, but if they don't, I speak for comic. Ah, all right, all right. Because I, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I, mean, I know a couple of languages. Yeah. A couple of things. That's fair. All right. Let's go. <coughs> Ember. <coughs> don't sit in the on fire. I don't know. I'm not really good at things. So whatever. Good job. All right. So you guys right, yeah. enter in. into the town. Okay. So, uh, this is a small village nested at the bottom of a sweeping valley here, uh, surrounded by what looks to be, now you're kind of getting a little closer, this green, and there's some, you know, grain here. This is so grain fields, barley, that kind of just wheat in general. Um, and again, it is just basically starting to grow because we're early in spring, we're in spring here. Right. Um, you can see there is colorful, like, banners and bunting and things between some of the buildings here at the town as if some sort of celebration is underway. Um, you see there's booths and stalls and things in the center of the town, this town square as you approach. Um, so uh, it's not yet afternoon at this point. We're saying it's about a half day, mm -hmm. so it's like noon, one o'clock or so. You can already hear the sounds of music and song and things. Um, coming from the center of town. So you guys are just going to walk in. Walk right in. Yeah. So as you get closer, you can see that indeed it is populated <laughs> by uh, kobolds entirely. All and right. they seem to be celebrating something. You don't get any good vibe on what exactly that is. But I keep an eye out for thieves camp signs. All about that getting that poisoner's kit. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so get hard. It. I'm gonna get it. What other tools? What Maybe other you things buy. Did, you, did you did you roll for money? I don't remember. No. Oh, okay, that was a different character. Yeah. I was oh, trying to figure that out. Oh, standard. Yeah. I was trying to figure that out because I was like, man, literally any other toolkit would be easier to get. Yes. Had you had the opportunity yes. to get that one in this and then mm -hmm. got it. Okay. So. Once we hit a big city, you'll be able to find one, I bet. I have some worst-case scenario ways Aren't to get some. Aren't you a criminal? Yeah. You know your background? Yeah. So you can find your criminal contact in a big Yeah, but city. my criminal con contact lives in Bin. Well, I guess then we would have to go to Bin, huh? If we go to Bin, then I don't need to use my criminal contact. I know a guy. Are a you, different guy you, from my you, criminal contact. Are you the guy that you know there? No. Uh, uh I'm not there. Who's the other guy you know? I'd rather not talk about it if that's cool. Yep. Thanks. All right. <laughs> okay. So you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just mentioning the things I did. Yep. All right. She's going to message in your head, and it's going to be 
something. Does she have message? I think so. Something. Don't they all? No. Like all of Selene's new characters. Uh, yeah, she got a message. Just a something. Yeah. She's like, ah, something. Okay, yeah, so you head into town. And you can see that there is just general revelry. And there's pause as we approach. you approach. But you notice that it's not entirely all kobold. You do see like a handful of lizard folk are amongst okay. people. So there's it's not 100% kobolds, but... What? Watch your fingers. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> yeah, it's racist. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically you can see that there are, there's kind of, there seems to be an inn with a set of stables, uh, there's booths and things in the center of town for some sort of festival, and people are just out and about and having a general good time. It's so, or so it seems. All right. When, uh, what do you think? Head to the inn, ask for, I don't know, ask where we could buy supplies. I mean. It seems like there's stalls all over the place. Why don't we just look around? Alright. You can do that. Let me just ask that guy right there. I'm gonna ask him. Okay, so you were... I'm sorry, I was reading a thing. So you're going to not go to the inn, you're just gonna ask a random person. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, and what were you asking this random uh, kobold? This... You notice that two among... Not all of them, but the occasional kobold here does have wings. Yeah. This one does not. Okay. This guy is green skin cobalt. Uh, and he's what you, uh, as a player, would anticipate as a regular, seemingly regular cobalt. Although with finer dressing than like just that, like, in a loincloth. Like, right. he's got clothes on. Yeah, like a, like a civilized Like cobalt. a civilized cobalt, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. He says, yes. Uh, I was wondering uh, if you knew where we might be able to purchase some supplies. We just came through uh, the the harsh lands back there, the harsh hills. And, and his eyes kind of go like squinting. He's looking at all of you, and he just goes, "Why?" Uh, and because we came from Gowager, and uh, they were going to have a festival that we didn't want to go to. And so we, we were running kind of low on food because we ended up with, like, a group of dudes. They didn't have any food, so we gave them, like, the majority of our food. So now we need some for ourselves, and we'd like to buy it. As opposed to, I don't know, foraging, because uh, I'm not really, like, a foraging kind of guy. And he's like, all right, that seems weird, though. Put yourself through life-threatening peril because you don't want to go to a festival. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it really sucks up there. I guess so. Oh, it's hazy. Yeah. It's smelly. Yeah. You can never, like, have, like, a regular conversation with anybody. They always forget what you're talking about. That sounds completely uncivilized. Yeah. No, it's it's really, it's, it's barbaric. Well, it was. It was very barbaric. Well, it was. <laughs> Why are we talking in our voices while we do that? I don't know. It's, I don't know. So what? What kind of uh, what kind of supplies are you looking for? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for just you know basic rations. I'm looking for any like dried meat or even you know I can I can smoke my own meat. Um, you know some sort of uh, grain, make bread. And I'm a bit of a cook myself, so just regular old food supplies. We got a guy who can create his own water. That's on me. It is actually very nice. And he's like, well, he goes, you know, it's still early in the year, so as far as grain, you know, you come back here in like three months, there'll be so much grain. Right. He goes, but, because we do have a farm, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, they may have stocks, but honestly, the inn, and he goes, I don't know what you find, you might find something at these stalls that's, you know, we never know. All right, cool. But yeah, the inn, you might look out and find I don't know, some food there. I mean, you'll find food there. Right, right. right. Some extra food that we can buy to take away. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, man. All really right. appreciate it. Yeah, bye. All right. He says probably the inn or maybe one of these stalls. All right, cool. All right. Let's um, look at the stalls as we walk to the inn. Sure, that sounds perfect. All okay. right. Make me a perception check. 
And Bruce is going to guide me. She's pretty great. Natural 20. Uh, seven. 25 for Oz and for Ember. She's going to guide herself. Oh, same score for Ember. Really? Yeah. I got a 18 and a 2. No, oh, sorry, 18 and a 4 and a 20 and a 2. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so... Seven. Um, and then we, have, we both have a plus 3. Yeah, as you look about uh, the various stalls, you see there are stalls selling different little idols and relics and things, all very cobalt in nature. Uh, there's like a funnel cake place. Oh! You know, it's like I, a festival. I get some funnel cake. Okay, it's like... Mm -hmm. So you just like, you take dough and then you just pour it in hot oil? Yep. In like a fun shape? Doesn't even have to be a fun shape. Well, I, I, I find the abstraction kind of fun. Then yes, in a fun shape. All right. Yeah, they're like... Throw some sugar on top. They're like egg, dragon egg shaped. Ha. Things. That's pretty, that's pretty fancy. Fun shape? I don't think I could do that. Oh, uh, that. So a funnel cake will run you do that. like five copper pieces. All right. Oh. And I have a name for copper pieces in the realms now. I don't know if I've decided if the kobolds have a, a separate currency, but in Everend, copper pieces are called shekels. All right. So, copper shekels. Double shekels. Yeah. Shecks, even. If that's what you're... I have all of the names, if you're curious. I... I I'm not here. Yeah, you you, you hear? Him? You yeah. don't have to. I won't tell you if you don't want I mean, to. We already, we already know. You already know. So yeah. all right. So, um, so and they they're just they don't have any specific minting on the coin, uh, but the silver pieces, probably most proud of this one, maybe the next one, has a creature that looks like this on it. Ooh. Ooh. That, if you're unaware, my friends, is a bullet. Aha. Uh -huh. So silver bullets. Ah. Uh, <laughs> silver pieces. Like it. Um, <laughs> electric pieces. Are non-existent. They're called keeps. <laughs> That's for Sean. I almost tried to name them after Sean. <laughs> I couldn't come up with an exact name, so I called them keeps because I knew he would not like that. Nope, don't like it. Gold pieces? Bits. Nice and simple. Uh, nice. The platinum pieces are called Archons. Mm. So that's the name of the coinage here. The general coinage. Other yeah. areas may have specific coins or special minting, but here, in the general. Anytime you get any city description that says standard Everton coinage, that's what it means. Alright. So yeah, you can get your dragon egg shaped funnel cakes. Mm. I'll get one for me. Anybody else want? Well, you guys, and Selwyn is there too. She'll buy a funnel cake. Sure. A couple of copper pieces. Um, Ember will buy one too. Yeah. Selwyn is like, like this is not a place she ever anticipated she would ever be. But like, for the most part, um, you're not sure if the people here would tip it if they would normally be so, like, non-inquisitive. But just everyone seems super chill. You know, at the funnel cake stand, I'll ask. You're like, excuse me, uh, purveyor of delicious cakes. Um, wh uh, can I ask what's going on around here? It seems like you're having a festival. And, uh... And the day. She says, yes, uh, spring. Totally. It's a spring festival. It means it's almost time to get ready to almost have the harvest. It's a, it has a good description. I mean, we're a small town. Yeah. We, like... The main conclave has a lot of the crazy stuff and all the super more modern technology and things, and uh, we don't have a whole lot to going on out here. So, in spring, which means it's almost time for the major growing season, which means it's almost time for the harvest. So it's like half half harvest tide, if you will. I I, I will I will. All right, thank you. Which is like, yeah. delicious, by the way. She's like thank you. And she is a colored, so it's like a light red colored. Cool, cool, cool. Any other, uh... Stalls. Stalls of note. 
um, on our way toward the end. They don't really have much in the way of like weapons or armor yeah. here on this side of the town. You've got a couple more food vendors and things. Um, you know, nothing too much either in the way um, out here in the way of alcohol. You assume that that's probably contained within the inn, being it's only inn in the town. This would not be a place you'd want to right. you know, have comp competition for your business. Um, there is a... Yeah, we'll say there's like a random, like there's a grab bag random trinket type shop mm -hmm. where it's just like you know you see there's a sign it says five gold per pull mm -hmm. and there's just a box so you, what's in the box it's a black skin cobalt do you say that out loud and he's just standing there what's in the box and he's like well, what do you want to be in the box um Fifty days of rations. He goes, there might be fifty days of rations in there. The only well, shit, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and I need you to roll me a percentile, please. I feel like there's not going to be fifty days <laughs> worth of rations in there. Shucks. You what never... if I roll a fifty? Let's Maybe. see. Thirty-three. I'm not a lot of fifty. Nah. Sure. Be sure. Be sure before you put your hand out. Oh, I'm very sure. Thirty-three mm. percent sure. Of what? Of this. Which is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I had a couple of options, and this one I feel is probably the funniest given the scenario. Okay. So you pull out like a tiny little cauldron, think about this big, filled with ashes. And think, ah, well, there you go. Ah. Not 50 days of rations, but there might still be 50 days of rations in there. I don't know when it closes the lid. Or something else. So, yeah. But is there anything in the, the cauldron aside from ashes? No, these are kettle ashes. And it's like a, it's actually more like a translucent powder mm. than actual ashes. Okay. Can I eat it? Yeah, sure. You can take a little bit and try it. It's awful. You know now that kettle ash makes whatever food it's put on taste horrible. All right. So it's the opposite of flavor. It just it makes everything Bad taste flavor. There we go. You have it. I'm going to keep it. There's like, cool. <clears throat> no thanks. I mean, I'm good. Uh, no. Could be 50 days of rations. No, no. I, I actually need 50 days of rations. Ah. Well, it could be in there. I know, but it could de almost definitely not in there. He goes, I won't tell you that it's not. Is this box magic? He goes, can you detect magic? Yeah. Oh, then it's magic. Ah, uh, obviously. <laughs> Is he lying to me? <laughs> Are you lying to him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously lying to him. We all know that. Well. <laughs> I incite a, a, a four. He deceives the seven. <laughs> oh, well. So, Ooh. yes, he's. it's magic. It is indeed magic. Shit. He's like... You know, a box is magic, huh? It could contain whatever you want. <laughs> but instead... But only it, if you get lucky. It has this... He goes, there might... He goes, I guarantee you won't pull the same thing twice. Makes sense. Cool. Let's, uh, go to the end. Punch this guy right in his stupid face. No! Oh. Let's just go to the end, get our rations. Did you buy out. another one or no? No, no. I was excited to see. I don't have enough money to do that, man. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, Someone's head over gonna the end. buy something. She's got five gold because I want it. All right. So she's going to buy something. So if you pull 50 days worth of rations out of that, I'm going to be fucking shocked. And she's like, well, I guess we'll see what I pull. If there's a, uh, like a town mayor or something, you think we should, uh, warn him? Yeah, probably. Yeah. 
something like that. It shouldn't be something we tell the general populace, but like someone in charge, we yeah. should give them a heads up that there Fair. might be a scourge coming from the north. Scourge is a good name. Yeah. And she pulls out a pouch of beans. Ah. Black and white beans. And he's like, oh, there you go. And she's like, can I eat these? And he's like, I'm sure you can. Do I, can I identify those Poisoner's beans? kit check sure. to see if they're yeah. poison beans. Go ahead. Cook you yeah. utensils check to see if they're one. edible. Uh, 17. Alright, so there don't seem to be poison. And <laughs> the problem with your check, Jake, is that if you can put it in your mouth, that makes it edible. Yes, but are they, but I, are they like food? Like something that I could cook to an enjoyable taste. Now if you put that powder on. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> now I know how to prank people. Uh, yes, that is true. You do know how to do that. Um, they seem as though they could indeed be used in some sort of food fashion. Um, <laughs> make me an archon check. Fifteen. Nope. Seven. Oh yeah. Nineteen. Uh yeah. Uh you get the feeling that there's some sort of minor magic to these beans, but what they are or what they can be done or could be done with them. Alright, I'll tell her. Don't eat those. They might be magic. Uh, you can't eat those, though, if you need to. But don't, because well, they might be magic. Right. But, like, if you're starving, don't hesitate to. And he's like, but well, you're not starving, so don't eat them. Currently. Right, yeah, no, I get that. But hey, I mean, magic beans. Yeah. From this box. And he's like, see? What did I tell you? You could find anything in here. Alright, let's go to the inn and get 15 and um, sir, is there, do you have, like, a town mayor, or, like, a boss, or something? Uh, <laughs> he's like, well, I don't have a boss. I'm my own boss. Uh, it's but, a business model. Uh, yes, there is a town mayor. Uh, where might I find the town mayor? I will tell you where you will find it. In the stables. That wouldn't make any sense. It's the mayor. Um, ha, 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 Lady sir, horse. Sir, half price. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything could be in this box. It could be a mystery box. <laughs> it could even be a boat. <laughs> Thirteen. Oh, man. Mystery boxes are the best. It's his dick in the box. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, We just murdered a guy in this town. It's not coming. Rip. Okay. So you pull out a small dragon-shaped glass jar Ooh. with a cork that's in the mouth mm-hmm. that's filled with some kind of spice. Ooh. You're only rolling food-related things. This yeah. is weird. So, this spice, it's, it's a weird scenario, but basically through tasting it, you know that this spice uh, will make things unbearably spicy to everyone except the person who does the cooking. Mm. So to you it will taste fine and well seasoned, but to anyone else it will be immensely spicy. Like, eyes watering, sweating, like need to drink milk and eat bread. Do I just just need a little spice in there? Yeah. I don't like this. (laughs) But only you, only you know this. All right. I don't like it. And then he shuts the box and he says, ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Seems like you only draw cooking-related items. Well, what can I say? He says, another. That's what I say. Uh, well, that, that would make sense. Um, <laughs> do you take obsidian chips? <laughs> and he's like, for you, friend, yes. I All do. right, I'll put five gold worth of obsidian chips. Because that's what I got. And he'll let you draw twice. Oh, yeah. Because he's still a half price. 
to some businesses. And you see a couple people are starting to like kobolds are coming around like Ooh, what's going on over here? Ooh, both hands in the box. Thirty five and twenty six. This like very small range of items. Doing good though. Yeah. That would be so weird. But we don't want to have Jake do that. Oh. So he's gonna cook them. Was it thirty? Uh, thirty-five and twenty-six. Oh, so you should get something out of the box. Okay. Now I'm pull up purple, fancy-looking purple sash. Okay. Out of this, um, and. <laughs> and you pull out a gong. Ha ha! <laughs> From when you hit this gong. Mm. Oh god. Um, <laughs> Rick, I uh, I I, I appreciate that, that you you're. What do you do with the sash? It does. Oz, you have the sash. What is it? The purple sash. Purple sash. Yeah. You don't want it? No, 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 I'll take a purple sash. Put it on. <laughs> If I end up a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you put on the sash and immediately your clothes look like 20% fancier. Like you, he immediately looks to you like his attire and he's like, well, and you see now that people are starting to be like, what's going on over there? He's like, look at this. And he will be like, yeah, how shit. fancy this halfling gentleman is. Makes all the willies say, gong. Oh god. I was hoping we'd be inconspicuous. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I'll do a polite crowd wave. And then, and then like, head over. Yeah, there's a nice little little oh. ball clapping. Mm -hmm. And then I'll head over to the end. We go to the end too. And he says, if you come back tomorrow, still have price. Ha! I'm gonna come back today. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, Rick, do you have money for supplies? Well, I have 25 obsidian. Chips worth of gold, and also twenty-two gold. Okay. Twenty-two bits. Okay. I oh, get... and he will tell you that uh, Mayor McWorm is the mayor of the town, but he's a pompous asshole. Okay. Um, well, you're dressed to meet where, him now. Where, where is he? Oh, right. You want to know where? Oh, what's the name of the town? Concord. Concord. But there's like a Y in there. It's weird. Anyway. All right. I'll just throw. Um. On the do do do. do. Uh, and he will point to one of the, like, fancier-looking buildings here. Yeah. And he tells you that basically he'll he'll probably uh, be about soon. He's very excited about the festival. Oh. Mm. Fancy. All right, so uh, rations and then the mayor, or the mayor and then ra rations and then the mayor? Yeah. 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 Just right. in case we get, like, kicked out. Yeah. Okay. So you guys make your way over to the inn. It's the Red Barrel Inn is the name of this inn. So you make your way over there. Uh, and you go inside, and um, there's a Is hole. this gong good for fighting weak demons? You don't know, mm. but maybe. Maybe. Like like fiends? Fiends, yeah. Like oh, like something? weak fiends? Weak fiends. Yeah. All fiends are weak. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it might... Um, yeah, it might totally do that. All right, cool. We'll try that. It's a good move. First thing. Bam. <laughs> um, uh, all right, cool. Is that how you walk into the inn? No, no. <laughs> I put the gun away. Okay. So it's alive in here. Look, there's a ton of people, a ton of noise. Ah, uh, shit. Um, oh. <clears throat> I think it might be hard to find a space. Right. I always here. find a space. Um, the bartender... Is zipping back and forth. Um, you can see sweat coming off the scales on his forehead as he's running back and forth. And you can see in the back, you can hear the sounds of a lute uh, accompanying song that's kind of drifting through throughout. Um, nothing, you know, super competent or, or mind blowing, but it, it's passable, cool right? It's a nice mind. background tone. Cool. Um, you can see that there are, um, some people that are also seemingly 
um, not regulars here, as if they are from out of town. There is bags, like heavy bags, underneath tables. A uh, gleam of weapons and armor and things throughout the crowd. Um, but no air of violence, just general revelry throughout. I cough loudly as we walk in so people realize that I'm a walking ball of spikes. And then you see, like, like it cuts. The music still <coughs> continues, but, like, some of the conversation dies down. And people look, and then it just picks back up. Yeah, no, I just want people to be aware that if they get too close to me, that they might stab themselves. Man. All right. Okay. Now, go up to the bar. Go ahead. Maybe we should go back to the kitchen. Find the owner or something. We're going to buy large portions of rations. Yeah, but I feel like we should start by asking the bartender. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, barkeep. When you have a second. Then he's like, yeah, yeah. And he's running around and he's like filling a drink order over here. And he's running over here. And he's got little legs. And he probably should have built the bar a little lower, but. It's too late. No. Can't do that now. No, it's uh, already built. Yep. Yeah. So he's zipping all over the place. And he's like, he's yelling like over his shoulder as you're like, hey, what do you want? Oh. Not trying to be rude, just get yeah, busy. Um, we're looking for like 20 days worth of food. And he like stops. Is there, is there, yeah, I know like you're super busy. Is there someone in the back? Is there an owner we can talk to? We're just trying to get a, we're just passing through. We just need food for the road. And he's like, and two beers. All right, uh, and he's like, well, that would be me. And uh, you can also see that he seems to be, like, he's sweating, but you can also see behind the bar there's definitely, like, an empty flagon that at one point probably had something in it. And you notice that his movement is not exactly in a straight line. It's erratic. A little bit. All right. Uh, but functional. I want one of those. Uh, point two is empty. Okay, and he's like, yeah, all right, and he's running around. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, let me... Let me finish up here, and I'll see if I can't. Uh, yeah, take your time. Figure that out. So he'll fill up two, and he'll, he'll drop off to you guys each uh, a beer. So this is uh, called. This is Fireheart. This is their particular brewery. This is a oak dark cherry oatmeal infused stout. Mm. Six point two percent alcohol. Right. So pretty it's pretty pretty heavy. Um. They do. You do see that there is like a room of dwarvish soda. <laughs> uh, there is rooms up above. You can see above there. You don't know if they're full, but you can see that there's a staircase mm-hmm. that goes up. So potentially uh, an option there as well if you decide to go that route. Um, it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So that that and uh, basically, you guys as he's like running around, you guys can just make me general. Perception checks to see what you hear about in the town. 18. 7 for me and for Ember. A 10. Okay. So you pick up just the general. There is, there's excitement for the, uh, the festival, but there's also trepidation in general as there's been, you hear them talking about two attacks that have happened on the town recently and the uh that a caravan of uh cobalt tinkerers um that there was an attack there at the edge of kind of the like the forest that's nearby all right uh and one on the barrett's farm that claimed the lives of two young girls dang uh, you also hear that the constable of the town mm-hmm. wants to shut the festival down. Mm-hmm. Uh, that the mayor does not want to shut the festival down. Whoa, do I overhear the constable's name? Brady. And he is the constable as well as the police force. It is him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I'll uh, tell you about that. Obviously. Hey, um, if the mayor is a pompous asshole, and the constable seems like he's got a good head on his shoulders. Maybe he's the one we tell about a scourge. Okay. I think we should tell both of them. Um, like, rationally, yes, we should. But I just don't feel like dealing with a pompous asshole today. Okay. Counterpoint. We should tell him because that's the right thing to do. Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm not I'm not saying you're wrong. Oh, okay. I, 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 you're right, in fact. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, but... Don't feel like it. Which isn't a good... I'm, like, I'm not saying I won't do it. Yeah, I know, but... 
it seems like whatever the constable says, the mayor's gonna be like, you're just being a downer. Uh, yeah, and but, yeah. you also overhear two other things <laughs> that an adventuring group called Kratolmax Fist has apparently... Kratolmax? Uh, yes. Make me a religion check if you want. Six. Uh, weird name. <laughs> um, Kratolmax Fist have taken on mm-hmm. basically the task of defeating whatever is causing the plague. Um, they're gonna stop it. Cool. The, the victors, right? They're gonna save the town. And that there's another, an elderly kobold here um, called Gwent. Okay. And he apparently, uh, he's a retired um, adventurer, and uh, he he supposedly thinks he knows what did it, uh, but he is an old guy who likes to embellish. Mm-hmm. So. He likes to tell a tall tale, and then, you know, people are like, oh, he's, you know, he's saying all this crazy stuff, stuff I've never even heard of. And I'm like, ah, it's probably just like a bear. He's crazy. Pretty old boy. Yeah. So that's what you hear as, as uh, eventually, the bartender, things start to calm down, people start to settle in a little bit, he's done pouring drinks, and he heads back into the kitchen. And he comes back out with, um, he has, like, he has something wrapped in, like, butcher paper. And he's like, so, uh, you're looking for cured meats? I or, can cook them. And he's like, well, I've got this. And he's like, I got this. this is, I got this hunk of venison here. It's about this big, so hopefully it'll last for a little while. He said, I can probably see what I can do as far as bread and maybe some cheese. And he goes, we don't have a whole lot of salted meat at the moment because we're mostly dealing with efforts of festival. Right, so we've got salt. I <laughs> salt. We have a lot of salt. I was like, all right, well, here. He puts a slab of venison down. It's nice. like a haunch. It's a nice size haunch of venison. And, you know, right. they'll go back and they'll pull out, like, a waxed wheel of cheese. Cool. And, like, a loaf of, like, hearty, you know, uh, bread. You got any, like, like oat meal or anything? Uh, and he'll be like, I don't know. I'll go in the back and he'll basically pull out, like, a... Here's a bag. You can put it in there. Uh, yeah, he'll fill that with just like oats. All right. Cool. He's like, it's not much better than horse feet. But <laughs> That's all right. I can work with it. All right. How much? Uh. For all of that, he will charge you guys. I'll call it uh, three gold pieces. I got it. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, of course. Oh, um, what does the we're we're in passing looking for the constable? Uh, what's he look like? Uh, he'll tell you that Brady is uh, more of I guess he would describe him as more of a blue-ish hue. Uh, cobalt. He is got a little bit more, a little more muscly than okay. your. He's not know. swole, though. No, he's no. like, like, that's not even funny. That's not even funny, man. Um, he says, yeah, but uh, you know, you'd be able to find him relatively easily because mm. he's, uh, yeah, he's very much against, very much against this festival. I don't really know why. He's like, I only know what I hear. Why? Yeah, I only hear the rumors that could be good for your business. Understandable. Yeah, he's like, there's a whole bunch of people are out right, saying different things. I don't know what's really going on. Yeah, man. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for the food. Uh, enjoy the festival, sir. He's like, all right. Try. All right. Let's get going. All right. Okay, so you guys exit out. Mm-hmm. And what's the... It seems like there's a lot of stuff going on in this town. Yeah, but there's a Craig Max thingamajigger that's taking care of it, right? <laughs> yeah. Those guys. Yeah, like, the, the, Tol, or Tolmax's fist. That's what I said. Yep. Um, and we still, like, yeah, we got a ship to me. You know? Yeah, we might have a ship to me. Yeah. Yep. Mm. All right, cool. Well, let's go find this constable. Right. I mean, at the very least, we got a rendezvous with... Wave. 
Wave and Sabine before we any, make any decisions. No doubt. Yeah. Cool. So, while let's head over to the mayor's house. If we see the constable on the way, we'll talk to the constable. So while that's going on, what are you and Sabine up to? Surveying the area on the way to the coast. Okay, you guys are going all the way to the coast? Mm. No, we set up a rendezvous that wouldn't be too far. So it was just like, go that way a couple miles. That way, You see that thing that we can right see on. from here? Mm-hmm. We can, we'll meet you there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Alright, so I guess you guys are just hanging out then. Yeah, I'll, I'll forge. I'll make a survival check to forge for some food. Okay. 23. Now, is Wave a vegetarian? Yep. So he's only looking for vegetables. And, like mushrooms. Got it. You he's find, a fun guy. You find some mushrooms. Nice. Oh, yeah. And she's like, all right. You okay? Yeah. All right. Cool. If any, we really have no idea how long they're going to be gone. No. And they have, like, if they don't, if they get killed or something, we're just going to be waiting here. We are. Cool. Just checking. Good plan. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to say before we come back? No. Cool. So we come back to you guys. All right. Oh, shit. I forgot. I'll go back to the guy at the box. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wave said to get him something cool. Did he? couple things. Yep. Get I didn't hear gold. that. Oh, well, you weren't paying attention at that point. Yeah, it actually sounds like me. That sounds just like you. Yeah. Anyway, you got a sash. I should at least pick him up something. Fair. Okay. And Amber's like, I want them to do... <laughs> No, sorry, Amber. Uh, the guy said it was only for guys. Uh, oh, that's messed up. It's messed up, which is super weird since Selwyn did it. Yep. I think maybe he just didn't like you. That's hurtful. <laughs> so are you. Um, going in twice, pat my you roll. How kind of you. I'm sure if I roll that, I'd get in like the mid 30s. 87. I want to hear you buy And 76. Um, Let's break these down because I'm just going to give them to you. Yep. Because I really like one of them, but I'll keep it. No. Nope. Oh, you don't know that, though. You can't medicate that. No. Yes, you can. Pat's done. No. Okay. Pat, say no. Okay. So you find, uh, you pull out some pages. Seem to be erratic pages torn from a spell book. Hmm. They seem to be like pages from a spell book. Oh, can I see? Yeah, of course. Yep. We did an arcana check. Oh, of course. <clears throat> um, ooh, I reroll one. Oh, natural 20. Plus Ember's guidance of a 4 max. Oh, yeah. So a 28. I got a 6. Uh, yeah, this That's is... These torn pages, <clears throat> the erraticism, if you will, of these seems to be strangely as if by design, and once per day, these pages can cause a wild magic surge. But they're for wave. Um, Wait. <laughs> oh? I'm going to this can't possibly go sleight wrong. of hand try and keep these pages and hand him back different pages. Alright, good. Make me a sleight of hand check. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of agree with that. Uh, 17. Oh no, I see it. <laughs> four. I rolled a four. Oh, not my reception check, which is as low as I can get. So these new pages that I give you. are from a farewell to arms. <laughs> I have that book. <clears throat> like, yeah, I don't know. They look like pages. Catherine. Yep. <laughs> So uh, I think Wave's gonna appreciate that. Probably. Yeah. Okay, and then the second thing, 
That was one. Mm. Let's see what the other one is. Is that, what is it, the 86 you said? 82 yes. or 86? 86. And 76? Or 72? 72. You don't sound very sure of that. 73? Yeah, let's see. No, that's done. 71? No, it's past. Oh. I'll make the decisions, thank you. 69? Ah! 100. What? 100. It's my hat. Yeah. It's lit. Mm-hmm. I guess Emperor probably would do it at least once. Um, it is a little jar of dust that seems to swirl around. Ooh, it's just a little swirling jar of dust. Yeah. We don't know what it does. Just What's your name, guy? This is my name. Your name. Let's see, what did I want this guy's name to be? It's the Black Kobold of Mystery. He's like, well, that is sound very impressive, but my name's just Hank. Ah. It says it's, it's something much longer in your comic. That's fair. Hank is easier. I can remember Hank. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah. So, is Ember doing it? Yeah, Ember's gonna do it. <laughs> the, five the best part was the look on Sean's face as soon as like I read that and I was like, he's gonna want to take these and take it. He's been shitting on this mystery box and now he found the sash in wild magic surge. Mm-hmm. 61 for him.
we should let you know so that you could keep your eye out to the north. I know you're having some problems in the town in general. Uh, uh, he says, yeah, the uh, caravan was attacked, found wreckage. Yep. I told the mayor to cancel the festival because these people were attacked. Yeah. He said no. Yeah, we heard so about the, the Barrett farmhouse. He goes, yeah, so about that. They were throwing a party, uh, or one of the girls was throwing a party, uh, brought her friend with her, um, and yeah, they disappeared. Hmm. Uh, and I brought, I went back to look at it, and I brought Quint. Okay. He used to be an adventurer. Right. So I figured maybe he would know. Yeah, makes sense. And he Weird said pictures. it looked like a bullet attack. Ah. So he told that this means there's probably going to be more attacks. Oh, jeez. Because uh, they mm. don't, it's they, if they're around, they're around for a while. Um, and they eat and people? He's, yeah, and he's, they're attracted to noise. Oh. So I've been trying to shut down the festival that's mm -hmm. just a bunch of people making noise constantly, and the mayor doesn't want to because he's just a dick. Yeah. So he did put out a 500 gold bounty on this thing to slay it. So uh, there's a band of lizard folk mercenaries that went out two days ago. No one's seen them since. And he goes, this morning, a little bit before you guys got here, this adventuring group called themselves Kratolmax Fist. Uh, they said... Uh, well, they'll take care of it, no problem. Um, so, yeah, he said, 500 gold if you can bring me back this creature, proof that it's dead. So they set out this morning, so they seemed like they were ready to take the gold already, like they had already done it. Uh, where is the parrot farm? And he says, it's a, a couple, what is it? It's about three miles south. Useful. Yeah, we might need it to pay for the ship. For the ship. Uh, it's uh. He says they set out first thing this morning. Like I said, they seem pretty confident they'd have this wrapped up pretty quick. Maybe. He goes. Do you know where they went? Did uh, they start at the Barrett Farm? Seems like. Uh, it seems like that would have been the best place if it, if it was me. Let me tell you where they went. Um, but he says honestly, I don't know, but they. I mean. He says there's this Tinker Caravan got attacked not too far outside of town, and the Barrett Farm is the other site of the attack, so I'd say probably one or both of those locations would be a place that they should start heading out to, but they seem like they knew everything. I don't actually believe it at all, but... Alright, well, maybe we'll take a look at it. We're gonna go warn the mayor about the scourge. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. We figured it's Unless you wanted to talk to him about it. He says, I don't that I will, but I don't really want to. This is kind of an asshole, but... Fair. We're gonna go talk to our uh, compatriots. Maybe we'll take a look into this bullet. Or bullet. Bullet. That's my son. There's no... Uh, He's got a weird accent. Yeah, I noticed it. It's the sesh. <laughs> Thank you. You do look quite fancy. Thanks. You were already dressed pretty fancy before. I, I was okay. I feel better now. Alright, um... Thanks. All right. Right. Possible. Yeah. Appreciate Good luck. Yeah, man. Nice. All right. Um, so, I guess I'm going to stop hitting this gun. And, yeah. Oh, and he'll tell you if you want to talk to Gwent that he's usually in the tavern. Ah, it's kind of busy there. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, but he frequents there, so. All right. I'll go get, um... Wade and Sabine? Yeah, probably. Yeah. And then take a look into this? Are we just skipping the mayor? Well, he said he would do it. I remember that. Yeah. I said, unless you want to do that, and he said, I will. Okay. He also said, but I don't want to. Mm -hmm. But the first part of that sentence was, I will. That's true. Hey. So that seems like so it would be... So we're going back that way through the tab. The way we came. Are you going to buy another goddamn... Yes. <laughs> 27. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> I'm noticing that. 
Um, so that was the gong last time. So let's Was it the gong? Yeah, let's see. You guarantee to not pull the same thing twice. 72 then. Okay, 72. Sure, then. why not? Right. I don't see why not. <laughs> okay, you pulled forth with a 72. I just lost it. Where is it? Oh, 72, ah. a piece of glittering silver chalk. Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> what is, I don't know what it is. It's oh, yeah, it's those chalk. Yeah, it's glittery. Try writing on something. Pages from a farewell to arms. Whoop. Whoop. Writes in, in silver mess. Silver glittery mess. It's like a gel pen, but with chalk. But uh, make me a stone cutting trick. Aha! Shit. Can Jake. Well. Double proficiency. Eight. Uh, well, I'll just give you this one. Sure, why not? It can erase rust from metal. Huh. Super useful. Yeah, especially for eating. Yeah. Especially if we're going on a well, ship. Well, I mean, this doesn't rust. Oh, fair. Well, the greatest sword might. That's true. That's a good point. Hmm. It erases rust. Let's go get the guys. Yeah. Should we bring Sabine something too? <laughs> no, I can give her this jade butterfly. Mm. I got that for you as a gift. You just gonna re-gift it? It's kind of a big insult in Dwarven culture. Oh. Just so you know, in future reference. Sorry, in uh, halfling culture, it's a sign of appreciation and respect. Mm. I really enjoyed the gift, and I wanted to pass that joy on. Okay. <laughs> 68 okay, where you got that one? 69 mm. Anyway, I'm almost out of money So I can't keep doing this <laughs> How's business been besides me, Hank? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like Well, since you got here Better People keep seeing all the cool stuff that I've got. Yeah. So, pretty good. Oh, did you but, hear about the, the bullet attacks? He's like, yeah, but, you know, business is great right now. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. He's like, no, thanks to you, almost specifically. Um, I have an effect on businesses. Uh, I like pull out money. a comb. A comb? Yeah, it's like a, it's a green comb with like a design of some sort of on it. Hmm. She may or may not like that. I actually don't know a lot about her. Nah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Well, fun fact. This comb, when you have it, uh, sea creatures are likely to be less hostile towards you. Huh. It's a really good comb to give to me. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go get them. Sea creatures are already less likely to be hostile to you. But... But what? Scourges don't count as sea creatures. Even less. <laughs> so, you guys go. You go get them. Wait, are sea hags sea creatures? I mean, goes, I, I, I don't really know. You, hags need no refunds. <laughs> where do you, you get this shit, man? He's like, from the box. He's like, out of the box. He's like, I don't give away my secrets. He's like, I like you. Did you tell him? You told him your name. Or no, you didn't. No. It's like, I like you. Rick. Rick. Uh, but I just met you. I can't give away all my secrets. Well, this is crazy. But here's two and a half gold. <laughs> Fifty. Fifty days of rations. What? No way! You said it was dumb! <laughs> and he's like... It could be. Oh, Hank. Ah, oh, you're my favorite guy I ever met. <laughs> well, you don't know I said that. 
And I'm not surprised. <laughs> that you said that. This is 50 days of rations. This is everything we needed. Yeah. That's great. I'm agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. Well, uh, before our luck runs out, man. Yeah. After he tries one more time. No, no, no. I'm done. I won. I won what I wanted. Yeah. And he's like, but maybe you'll win something else that you don't even know you wanted. That's true. That's true. But, um... I feel like my friend has just been like sitting there waiting for me in like on the road for like an hour. So she got him a gift. I did. She got him another gift. I got both of them a gift. You should bring them back and have them give gifts. Maybe they will. No, that's. I don't think they'll do that. They're kind of rude. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, don't go north to Gowager. <laughs> and then I will leave. <laughs> Traditional dwarven farewell. Yep. Don't go north to Gowager. <laughs> It's a general rule. Cheers to that. <clears throat> Cheers to that. Okay, you guys leave. And go and get Sabine and... Okay. Um, okay, so we got all the food we need. Um, but <laughs> there is, a, thanks to Rick, yeah. and a box. And a magic uh, box. May or may not have been magic. I'm pretty sure it was magic. Yeah, I know you're pretty... doesn't matter. Um, but... You could find they, out. <laughs> They've been, uh, there have been some, uh, bullet attacks in town, and they're, uh, offering $500 reward for someone to take care of them, and we might, might need that money for ship passage. So... Also, it'd be a good thing to do for the town. Also, there's a magic box there that you can pull stuff out of. I got you this, and I give you the papers. It's, um, part of a book, I think based on the quarter of a paragraph that I read. And I also got you... Can I see you... those? <laughs> oh, Sabine, I got you this. This comb. is so weird, guys. Sabine. I think I have the rest of this book. What? And I'm going to pull out a farewell to arms and be like, look, the pages even fit. That is a magic box. That's so cool. Here you go. Here's a book. Farewell to arms. How about you keep these? Cause finish, keep your book full. All right, cool. Thanks, man. I mean, no, 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 no. no. Rick, Rick, Rick got these for you. It was a gift. But your book, man. Yeah, so when your Jesus book. Sits there, watching this whole thing go down. Having, your book now. Having seen the sleight of the hand whole, check whole happen, book? she just doesn't say hmm? anything. The whole she book. Just watches. Wild that there's like the Thanks. rest of the book. Yeah, it's a... You know what? Look at this. Kind of a coincidence. <laughs> Mending. Yes. Complete book. Fixed it. This is great. Yeah. Great. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rick, you got that face on again. <laughs> Trying to put things together. So what else did you get? I, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I got 50 days of rations. Oh. Yeah, right? Out of a box. <laughs> so that makes it better. I got this chalk. Detect magic. Magic. Well, well minor magic, but magic. Oh, I got this gong. Detect magic. Ding! Uh, I like that I can make Ted do that. <laughs> <laughs> I got that sash. Give to Detect us. Detect magic. Look it, look it. It's, it. He looks less fancy. 20% fancier. Magic. Less fancy. Yeah, they're all light. You notice, to save the time, all of the things except for the 50 days of rations are lightly magical. Oh, also, that, taste these ashes. It just tastes like shit. Ah. Uh, yeah. Wild, right? It tastes like shit. I know. Did you just make him eat shit? No, it's ashes. Are they ashes of shit? I don't know enough about ashes specifically to say no, but I don't feel like they are. Sabine goes, does Ember? She's real good at burning things down. Probably knows a lot about ashes. Yeah, here, try these. <laughs> <laughs> she was with you the whole time. Yeah. No, I don't want to eat them. Come on! Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're so gross. That's fair. <laughs> it tastes like shit. <laughs> I know you were. You were right. I thought maybe you had more insight than that, though. The burn. <laughs> I was trying to maybe intuit what was previously. Tastes like they were previously shit. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them anyway. And Sabine's like, I, I don't know, but I kind of like her better now. I don't know what happened in the <laughs> past day. 
Um, and you got you got something for Sabine too, right? Yeah, yeah I gave her a comb, and she oh, like cool. put it in her hair. Yeah, it looks nice. I was thinking something before. I can't remember what I was thinking. Guys, we should really try and check out. Uh, it was the Barrett Farm, I think, right? Barrett Farm. Yeah, Barrett Farm. We should head to the Barrett Farm it's about and three miles southeast of town. We should. Uh, and you know, check there is the Tinker, wherever the Tinker Caravan yes. is, which was just on the outskirts on the west side of town. Uh, is that closer? That's the side we're on right now. Yeah, yeah it's it's. You didn't see it because you guys went. You know. Yeah. I mean, you, you could look around. You might be able to find it. Yeah. Why don't we do that first since that's closer? All okay. right. So. You guys are looking around for... Ha, ha. I'm so happy I got those questions. Perception? Uh, yeah, make me a perception check. As you guys are looking around... 22. To find this location. On fire. Ember perception. gets a 25. I got a 5. That's, I'm just too excited about these rations. I'm going through it. There's all sorts of good shit in this. And Oz gets a 22. Mm, okay, so kind of as this road is heading west, uh, where you guys are, um, it kind of it is a little because um, I kind of I guess expedited it, but it was you guys had walked and gone separate ways. And it was a couple hours probably to yeah okay, to get so to, mid to meet yeah. up, and then yeah, you guys are kind of up. This kind of curves as it goes up, and then kind of curves down to the coast. It's kind of here. Okay. So, like, you can kind of see over the city up at this point. Um, you can see the fields, you can see, you know, all the different, you, know, you can see very small, like, ant-like movements over there. But uh, what was the perception checks all around? Five. Twenty-five, twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-two. Um, so, yeah, basically, um... As you guys are looking, basically everybody that got above the 15, uh, you know you've come to the right place immediately. It seems that the ground itself uh, erupted here. Wide black hole leads down to the earth, and a few shards of broken wood and twisted metal still litter the ground at the edge of the forest where this hole is. A little further along the road, trees appear to be torn up out of the ground. The sound of chattering birds and rustling undergrowth that accompany you on your journey to this place have ceased. All you can hear is your own breath and the soft whisper of wind. I walked past it. Wait, 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 Rick, Rick. What? Right here. Oh. Okay. See the trees and the ground and the... Oh, shit. So, uh, Notice there's no birds. You can see, you know, go ahead and make me either an investigation or a survival check. Mm. Well, I think we all know what most of us are doing. Except for us. I'm investigating. Ah! Survival. This is not my day for checking things. Five. Nineteen. Okay. Mm, I didn't do great. Uh, Are you lucky? Uh, Thirteen. I might be lucky, but let's see how Ember does first. She didn't do good. She did like a fifteen. Um, yeah. That's much better. Uh, so, uh, investigation is going to be a 22. Okay. So, one, the hole in the ground, 10 feet in diameter, seems to be about 15 feet deep, and it turns abruptly at the bottom, uh, tunneling off in a direction which seems to be southeasterly towards the barrack farm. All right. So, the felled trees show sign of something basically struck them violently, the way they're kind of knocked over. Uh, you two and Ember, uh, the damage to the ground wasn't caused by an explosion. It appears something tunneled up from underneath, which okay. coincides. The trees probably weren't torn up, but rather pushed over by something heavy running into them. Uh, you and Ember notice that the only thing that remains of the Tinkers, um, is basically a small footprint, cobalt footprint, um... And I'm sorry, a foot, not a footprint, in a boot, like a cobalt foot, just the foot inside the boot there, um, the rest of the body gone, um, pinned beneath one of these knocked over trees, hmm. um, but yeah, and then you can tell with your roll that the trails in the dirt show signs uh, where the blood was spilled. Mm-hmm. Um, without fail, they lead towards the hole in the ground as though the bodies were dragged into this hole while bleeding heavily. Oh, uh, God. Um, 
Alright, so the way I see it happening yeah. is this thing is going northwest, okay? Came up out of the ground and then knocked all the trees over yeah. with magic. Yep, and then one of the kobolds was trying to run away, but his boot fell off. And then the they damaged it so it was bleeding as it came out of the ground and headed northwest. Okay. Um, I like your initiative. A uh, sm- few small details I'd like to point out. All right. Um, is there's still a foot in that boot, mm-hmm. so probably didn't fall off. Um, no, most pe- most feet don't fall off. No. Unless you have leprosy. S- uh, yes. Does um, it look like he has leprosy? It does not look like ah, he was. Uh, it looks like it was ripped, ripped off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it was ripped off. Okay. Um, yep, that, I see that now. Also, uh, if you see the blood... The, the blood splatter. Yep. Um, you can see that there's like a blood, and then like a little trail, which shows which way they were headed, uh, and it's the opposite. So it looks like they were bleeding and see, was I dragged. It like maybe it was bleeding the... and came out dramatically, and then stood there for a while, and then bled in that one spot. Oh, that's a thought, but I think it didn't happen like that. I think they were all killed and then dragged into the hole while they were bleeding, presumably to be eaten. Ah. And then this mm, thing tunnels towards southwest, towards the back. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see that looking into the hole again, it's 10 feet wide, it goes at least 15 feet, and then it curves off. But it seems to be, I mean, whether that's, you know, impressive to you or not, it seems to be relatively structurally sound, this tunnel, at least from what you can see. Which, do we have any idea on how to maybe set a trap for it? Yes, it's attracted to loud noises. Thanks. Like this one. I'm going to perception to see if I can sense anything stirring in the earth below. For 22. Just seeing if you sense, if you hear anything? or Like if anything's coming? No, you don't hear anything. You just feel the pangs of a different life or something similar caused you great hardship. Oh. Yeah. Something about that sound. There's something about that sound. I like it. Should you go ahead to that barrack farm? Since now we're pretty sure we're looking at a boule. Why don't we go through the tunnel? Because um, I can't, because half of us can't see in the dark. Tor- okay. Torches? <gasps> No, no, because half of us can't see in the dark. Yeah. So. Also, um, I don't know if we can get out of the tunnel since it goes down. Ten. It could like collapse and stuff too. And then yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Read the question. Okay. She has one to leave and head. Head to the barrack barn. Okay, uh, so you guys make your way over towards the farm. It takes a little while, a couple of hours, an hour or so to get over there. It's only three miles, so. Um, you know anything about bullets? You know anything about bullets? I might know a thing or two with a 22 on the roll. 23 in nature? Mm. Um, you know, let's see, what do you know? Um, they're also known as land sharks, as they turn around the, um, they basically make the earth around them so easy they can swim right through it. They exist to feed, like they are vicious, ferocious creatures that, uh, typically just come up, eat their prey. The, the blood trail thing is a little odd to you. That seems not like a thing they would do. Grab and drag. They would just come up and then just leave. So that seems a little strange. Mm. Um, They can obviously sense sound and vibration so it's very hard, if not impossible, to sneak up on one. But you can fly. Yeah. Or have boots that make no sound. Or... Nope. I can't think of any other ways to do it. Yeah. Alright, so you guys make your way towards the farmhouse. <coughs> um, 
so the farmhouse sits in the middle of the field, squat wooden building with a thatched roof. It's dwarfed by a large barn and grain silo surrounding it. Behind the farm, you can make out a pair of uh, gray horses uh, pulling the cart across the field. Um, and you can see the driver kind of stands up as he sees you, raising a hand against the sun to peer over towards your way. Um, then the door of the farmhouse opens with a bang, and a fierce-looking female kobold in a simple dress stands on the low porch. And she just screams out, Get out of here now! Okay. And she, I've had enough of you bounty hunters trampling over my fields. Can't you just leave us in peace? Okay. And I turn to leave. <laughs> wait, wait, no. But, um, man. It's a reasonable request. Yes, I... With all respect... We're, we're not necessarily... You see that the male is making his way over towards the, the farmhouse. Well, yes, there is a reward. This is a fact. But also, this is a, a danger we're looking to rid the area of. And she's like, yes, I know. Yes. My daughters are dead. Yes, and I'm, I'm very for sorry for me. that. That's why I said yes. that should be dealt with. And this is our best lead because it looks like the thing was going from there to here. Which means it's going from here to somewhere else. And if we could get a lead on that, that's more important than this lady's feelings. Fair. That sounds just. Right. I have an idea. Um, ma'am? If I gave you, like, I'm really sorry for your loss, and we're trying to rectify that, so... What? Don't offer money. Is it my opinion? Nobody. I feel like those guys are generally assholes. Um, to compensate you for the inconvenience, if you'd let us just jump in a hole... 20 gold. 20 bits. She seems just not... Having this, but eventually over time her husband will make mm. his way over towards you. Uh, and he just again all comes looking with this and she's just flustered, can't even speak to you as he just says, So, uh more of you, is it? And uh, he seems he says, What's the matter? The first group came back empty handed and she kinda just stares and she's staring, throwing daggers at him. Uh, and he just he's just like He's just like looking at her and he's looking at you and he says, listen, this really isn't the best time. Because normally, I'd just invite you guys in and we'd have a conversation, but we're going through a lot. I'm sure yeah. you understand. Of course. And then he kind of like looks at her and she's just like, not having it. He's like, listen, I'll answer your questions. I'll point you to where it happened, but get in and get out. We don't want to deal with this. We want to just be left alone. I've got my work to do. My wife is grieving. I just, just... We just want to take a quick survey of the area. We would really, greatly appreciate it. And she's just like, he's not, she is not happy. Uh, But he's just like, whatever. Also, people are going to keep coming until it's done. So let's get it done. So people leave you in peace. He's like, so, and he'll kind of start pointing over to where it happened. He's like, what questions? Where did it happen? We were just gonna hop in the hole. There, you guys. You, you obviously didn't see anything. Um, did you hear anything? Feel anything? Uh, let's see. He said, you know, that his daughter was having a party, a place in the field. 
they'd never seen anything in the holes left by the creature that killed their daughter. Um, it tells you that Brady has come out to the farm on three separate occasions. Um, Gwen said something about a land shark. And that, like, this other group babe came by this morning um, asking basically the same questions. They were confident that they could slay it, and they promised to bring my wife its head when they were done. Oh, that's callous. Mm. That's what you guys yeah. want? No. No, I don't think They're so. They're kind of assholes. Yeah. yeah. They showed up, they went and checked out stuff, and they left. Um, he says, uh, yeah, he tells you, he asks if you guys know about the, the, the Tinker caravan. Yeah, we, yeah. we were there, the only reason we came here is because the, uh, tunnel seemed to lead in this direction. And he'll, like, show you where it is and gesture you over that way. Mm-hmm. So, um, the spiel, dark, uh, stony earth hasn't really been leveled or plowed, um. All there is to see is bare dirt and three dark holes in the ground where you know that this is where the two girls spent uh, their last few minutes. And uh, you guys can make an investigation or survival. Uh, 17. 14. 18. Mm Twenty-five investigations. Okay. Um, so around. basically, you guys can see that uh, there are tracks, humanoid tracks that are leading up to these holes, um, and then basically they go into the hole, and then they seem like they come out back out of the hole and then disappear. Okay. Um. But these holes look relatively small. Not as big as... Not as big as that other one, and they seem Mm. smaller to what your interpretation of... You haven't actually seen these creatures, but your interpretation to what their size. These seem small, but there are three distinct holes. Um, Uh, Does it look like there was an eruption from underneath, like the old other hole? Similar, but smaller. Okay. Hmm. Um, Smaller footprints in... Yeah, they go like humanoid footprints going in, seemingly coming out, and then they disappear. Unusual. Yeah. I guess we should head down, though. Sure. Uh, yeah, you basically, uh, they stretch for, you go down, they stretch about for 50 or 60 feet before collapsing, becoming impassable. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. What direction are these ones heading? Um, it's, uh, let's see. There are only, the tunnels are only five feet high, um, and they seem like they are heading northeast, but it's hard to tell because they just kind of, yeah. mostly, most of it is more down than anything else. Right. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Why would these holes be smaller? Baby bullets. Maybe. Potentially. Mamba Bullet trying to feed her young ones. I don't know enough about bullets to say that's wrong. Fair. Uh, Alright. We could set a trap for it. Making a lot of noise. Yeah. Kind of like not a trap, really. Kind of just like a, we could bait ourselves. Yeah. Well, you know, at the same time, too, you know that the Tinker Cavern is was on the kind of the western side of town, and right. this is probably over three miles Away. southeast, so it doesn't seem like there's any particular pattern at the moment. Okay. But you know that there's been a lot of, um, oh, I guess I should have thrown this out there, too. Uh, would you have known this? I didn't really, no, never mind. All right. So you would guess, and you know they told you that the Potomac's fist had come here to 
investigate, basically asking the same questions, investigating the holes and all that. Right. You ever heard of Gatolmax's fist? Have I ever heard of it? Can make a religion check? Sure. Have you ever heard of Gatolmax's fist? Well. Fourteen for me. Fourteen for me. Ah, uh, Amber's got a twelve, eleven. Yeah, you guys know that Kratomak is a cobalt god. No, ah, cobalt god, yeah. Makes sense. They have like one major deity, and that's Kratomak. That's all I got. Kratomak's fist. Yeah. Kratomak's. The X at the end. Oh, okay. that's what you're saying. Okay, yeah, that's all I got. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so I think they, yeah, basically, they, I think they pretty much told you everything they know. That Brady'd been there a few times that when said, you know, he knew what it was and that these other guys came here and left earlier this morning. So obviously, the thing that attacked Caravan is not the same thing that attacked this party. Yeah, probably. But a bunch of people who were at this party survived. No, it was two people. Oh, it was just a two-person party. And they broke that. Not what I describe as a party, but... No, oh, kobolds. Kobolds. Different definitions of party. Okay. That's fair. Um, mm. I, I say first thing, we just get out of these people's hair. Yeah. And then... Something. Boo uh, something. Mm-hmm. Boo Either something. talk to Gwent or assume Kratomak's fist can handle this and go to the ship. That doesn't sound like a good way to go. Mm. We should at least go talk to Gwent. Fine. Okay. Should you guys make your way back? Stop by Hanks. Sit down. I don't think we need to stop by Hanks anymore. <laughs> Let's go talk to Quinn. All right. Okay. So you guys make your way back, and you find him in the corner of the Red Barrel Inn. Um, What's your poison, guy? Oh, and he you can smell and see that he's drinking the, uh, the Fireheart. Um, and he is, more, his scales are gray, he's older. Right. You know, they may have been black at one point, but they've kind of gone more gray with age. Um... And you get him a drink, I assume. Yep. Uh, and what do you ask? What was his name again? Gwent. Gwent, were you at uh, both of the attack scenes? He says, I, well, I went to the to view the farm. I went to view the farm scene, and um, he will basically say, it seemed to indicate multiple smaller uh, bullets, but he doesn't know how that's possible. Nobody's ever claimed to see an infant one. So, they're usually solitary hunters. Yeah. I'll describe this scene from the caravan attack. I feel like there's a big one, and then it looked like there were draggy marks of bloody victims into the home. Sounds weird for a bullet. Yeah. Um, he will remember that he, you know, he, he got taken a cursory look and said that looks like a normal attack. Okay. Uh, he says, there's no doubt that that's absolutely, um, was a work of a bullet. He fought one once. Killed his entire party. Shit. Left him nursing a wound that nearly killed him. And you can see there's this long purple scar. It's like across, uh, uh, he lifts up his shirt across his ribs and stuff. Oh, wow. Um, they also tell you, again, that they basically are, they love... Just if they can get a large source of food, like a town. Um, uh, he tells you that he thinks the mayor is stupid for not acknowledging the fact that this is a danger. Right. Um, and that Tall Max Fist went, you know, they had gone this morning to go check out the Brady Spiel. Uh, but they were really confident, and he's, he's pretty confident that they're all going to die. Because hmm. they just seem like a bunch of. Idiots. Idiots, yeah. Alright. Just confident idiots. And being overconfident is a 
It's a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Confidence is a short step away from stupidity. Um, is there like a big dance going on for the festival or something? And he says the mayor wants to set off a bunch of fireworks. Today. Oh, that sounds like the worst idea. Mm. Do you know where the fireworks are being kept? Uh, no, but they're going to set them off in the town square this evening. It's almost evening now. It's getting close. Well. Mm, seems like you ought to be on a, like a second story or something. That's probably not a bad idea. But, uh, not us, though. We're brave adventurers. We're gonna stop this thing. So when you were an adventurer, what kind of, what was your specialty? What, would, what was your jam? And he says, oh, do you have time for a story? Because I love to tell stories. Kind of oh, stuff. actually, we were gonna try and prevent the mayor from setting off fireworks. Oh. But, like, no, oh, it's fine. No, like later, maybe. He's like, come back later, we'll have drinks. We'll have a... I'll All right, cool. Story. Wait, wait, which story were you going to tell? Uh, which story do you want to hear? I got a bunch. And then uh, Ember's going to message him and say, tell all the stories. He's like, I'll tell you all the stories. Ah, yeah. But, like, later, we got we to gotta think. All right. So, yeah, as uh, you guys leave uh, evening begins to fall. Okay. So, do we steal fireworks? I mean, that was my, that was going to be my plan, steal the fireworks. Yeah, steal the fireworks, go way out of town. Way out of town, set them so, off, and then trap. Okay, we're on the same page. This is great. All right. So, well, as you guys fine. exit <laughs> out, the sun begins to set, and night begins to take the area. All right. Um, uh, you know, patrons are getting deeper into their cups. People are having a good time. And as you guys are sitting out, you hear a cry outside. Um, oh, and it's a voice saying, Help! Uh, it sounds weak. It sounds full of pain. It's just, For the love of God, help! We need a healer! Uh, that's not me. I'm going anyway, though. Also, I'm ready for this to be a fucking trap. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ember's, gosh, I can heal a little bit. We could do that. So you guys come outside and mm -hmm. you see kneeling in the street uh, before you is one of the sorriest sights you've ever seen. Oh. Gosh. It God. is a very lithe, cobalt woman in fine leather armor, bleeding and broken, uh, clearly only barely alive, uh, clinging to consciousness. Her She's left like, hand has been torn away at the wrist. A leather belt is strapped tightly around it as a tourniquet. She hunches over the clearly dead body of a male uh, kobold, uh, uh, clutching him close to her chest and begging you and anybody else nearby um, to help him. Both his legs have been severed above the knee. It appears he bled out some time ago, probably while she was dragging him back to town. Lying in the dirt at her side is the severed head of what must be a bullet. And a voice in the crowd basically the says, uh, I mean, it's, no, it's at, like their side, it's this big. But it's not 15 feet big for a tunnel in a 15 foot big tunnel. Uh, and then you hear somebody in the crowd, oh, that's, that's them, Tomac's fist. And the beast, another voice says, people shift uncomfortably and start muttering to one another. Remember, remember and she's just like, right please now. help. Uh, and it appears she is fading very fast. Okay, we'll heal that lady. Ember is going to go heal that lady real fast. But while everyone's looking over here, Oz is going to go the other direction and try and find those fireworks, fireworks real quick. So Ember first. Yeah, I got it. Second to love you. Here you go. Right. No one come with Oz. Clink, yeah. clink, 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 clink. So Ember would be the only other person to go with. Go yeah, she, roll, she's gonna uh, heal. What kind of armor does Sabine wear? Chain mail. Uh, not bad. 14 HP for the shit. call ball. Because that's bad for sneaking. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so she gets stabilized. And. Uh, and she's just like, she seems to stabilize for the moment and seems to have. Momentary consciousness. Okay. And Amber's gonna ask, so what? 
tell us what happened. And she's just like, uh, she's like, there was, there was more than one. I mean, just, we didn't expect that, and there was so many, and they killed everyone else. Oh, no, and she so says, none of them were bigger than this, and she points at the head that's there. How many were there? Um, How many did you say? <laughs> she is, oh, man. Um, it's halfway between Sebastian it's just someone she says sleeping. she doesn't yeah. know because Hold they hit so hard and so fast bursting out of the ground behind her and her friends with their jaws open wide um, she says that they investigated the farm they uh, they never found the lair they were ambushed by the creatures about an hour ago in the middle of a field barely a mile outside of town oh no alright everybody as this is happening ah shit the mayor walks in to town with a far too jovial voice booming into the night. She says, where are they? Where are the ones who have delivered us from this? And he stops his speech abruptly as his eyes fall upon the sight before him. For a moment, all color seems to drain out of his face. Uh, but he composes himself quickly. As he quickly, as quickly as he stopped talking, his face lights up again, and he throws his arms open wide, turning to the crowd. The beast is dead! Here it lies, beaten and slain. The festival will continue! A muted cheer runs through the crowd, picking up steam uh, a little as uh, Mayor McWorm waves his arms and frowns to people. <clears throat> him. This brave hero has returned victorious. Bloody she may be. We'll see to that, or we already have. Don't worry. You're welcome. <laughs> But once she has rested, I'm sure she'll have a uh, sure sure she'll have a tale to tell. Now, like we already heard it, and then he's like, ah. Yeah, everyone died, and there's a lot more. And he turns tales. to the to the the woman there and casts his eyes over the body of her dead companion and you know the head that's there, and he says, "Here," he says, his voice. Uh, this should help matters, and he hands her a pouch of gold. You can see it's busy drop. Like she goes to reach for it, and it slips and it spills out, and there's an ample amount of gold. Um, and he pushes his way out of the crowd, disappearing into the night. Excuse me. And he's like, he stops and he turns around and looks at you. <clears throat> well, as a boulette expert myself, I'm an expert in silver, so that makes me a boulette expert. <clears throat> so that's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I posit that there are more of these creatures and one of a significantly larger size. As we investigated the caravan, uh, which was attacked to the west of town. Now, it seems that all of the noise in the town is slowly drawing these creatures in further. And the noise of this festival is clearly attracting a multitude of these creatures the likes of which is rarely, rarely seen. Normally, these are solitary hunters, but this is, unfortunately, one of the smaller brulettes. It's so small. S significantly smaller. I think that the town is still at risk. The good people of Concord should, uh, retreat to second floors and be quiet and, and perhaps... Uh, instead of reveling, should be um, somber in for at least the night while we attempt to slay the rest of these creatures, perhaps outside of town. And he looks to you and he says, My good man, the deed is done. The monster is slain. A monster is slain, Mr. McWorm. <laughs> And he says, this is no longer. He says, we have no more need for cell swords. Everything is handled. Ha, enjoy the festival. And he will... Look! Nobody's more excited for this festival and Kent's magic box than me, okay? <laughs> and Hank is like, Hank. Hank, yeah. And, he, and as, Sorry. as you look to Hank, the mayor just walks away from you. Look, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Why don't you listen to me? This dude just got eaten, and like a bunch of other people have been eaten already. And the mayor does not inspire confidence in me, personally. 
So if you want to live specifically, I would follow my advice and retreat quietly to a second story of a building. Now, as you see the inset of panic begin to set through the town, a familiar face to you at this point, having set about a panic in another town. Yeah, I'm good at this part. <laughs> not only a few minutes ago, or a few days ago, Brady comes up to you and he's like, and he's just kind of like, just, just come here. Just, what? Just, just come here. These people gotta get just, upstairs. Just, just come here. All right, pulls I go you there. off to the side and Gwent is also there. And basically Gwent is like, yeah, this is absolutely not over. He says, I'm pretty sure that this... No one's ever seen a bullet cap before, but I'm guessing that that's what that is. Because that is not, that's not, I know what they look like. This that's is moderate size. Size. And size. He yeah. says, but here's the thing. No one's ever seen one of their babies. One of the babies is dead. It's a bad thing. That's bad. Yeah. I'm going to assume if this is anything like any other wild animal, this is going to piss it off. I agree. Immensely. So, this is just gut instinct, though? I don't know. But I have a, I would guess. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That's why I said it should so get upstairs. So Brady says, listen, I know you guys just got here, but you seemed interested. <sighs> Nobody else, the only people that were even going to do this, this is all that's left. Yep. Do you think you could do this? I'm certainly willing to try. And he said, I would love it if you guys would just go do this like if you could go out and do this right now but I realize that that may not be it seems so. like the best thing to do and Gwent's like ah, yeah darkness is their benefit because they don't they can sense by vibration yes yes so that <sighs> we need to we need to shut and Brady's like up. I'll make sure that you get paid at least I will eat that 500 gold. I'll pay you that. Even if he won't pay you, I'll pay you that if it just gets taken care of. It's really... I, I appreciate that, and I'm sure that my companions will not agree. But for me, it's less about the money. I mean, I just, it sounds good. It's just so good. How much did you drink in that tavern? Like seven. All right. Okay. Look, I don't know what kind of sway you pull around here, but if these people are loud, they're going to bring the holy hell on themselves. Yes, he says, if you take care of the creature, I will do my best to try and quell this without act. Because just telling them that they're all going to die if they don't shut up is probably just going to incite a panic, which is going to incite screaming, which is going to do the opposite of what right, you right. want. So you need to talk to these people and convince them that they need to stay indoors and upstairs. And he says, I will do my best to do that. That's all you can do. Drinks. You... Offer him drinks in the tavern. And he's like, well, I can't drink that, but I can certainly. All right, so this is what I want to do. So this is my plan, okay? We're going to find a way to make a lot of noise outside of town. I'm going to prepare a large chunk, almost like a haunch of venison. I'm going to smear it with this spice that I have. And then I'm going to feed it to the boulettes, which will distract them with the spiciness of this spice. Because this spice is very spicy. Is it a spicy spice? It's one of the spiciest spices I've ever come in contact with. It's a spicy spice that spices... Spicily. Spicy. Yes. In fact, so if I do that, and you guys are all quiet, and we make a lot of noise, there's a chance that we'll be able to draw them out. And he's like, yeah, that is certainly a plan. We will try to be quiet. And he says, mm. but they said they, mm. he says, she said she just got attacked like an hour ago. Mm -hmm. And... And he like points and he's like, there's a pretty clear trail of where she came just to this massive smear of blood. Yep. And he's like, so if that was only an hour ago, that be should be pretty fresh to where it was. And if that's maybe... Yeah, we're, we're working on coming up with a, a large noise right now. In fact, I'm thinking maybe 
we can... He says, because clearly there was more to this party. Yeah. And Several. they're not here. No, they are not. So, you know. I mean, we'll head out. Yeah, totally. Right. I mean, no, almost me. I need to gather everybody. Right. Uh, Selwyn. Uh, stop talking about Selwyn, go upstairs. And she's like, all right, yeah, that sounds great. All right. Good luck. Thanks, you too. Thanks. Go upstairs. And you guys gather the party together. All right. um, you're What's all Oz doing right He's now? looking for fireworks. Looking for fireworks to steal. Stab that bear right through the throat. It happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. Rick wouldn't do it, but he's not there. Get out of control. Yeah. So like... uh, make me a, I guess, a stealth check. 22. All right, well, make me an investigation check. How many luckies have you used today? It's two. Right. That's why I'm doing the, the thought face. Mm. Um, it's top ten on none for combat. That's the thing. This is moderately important, though. It is. Because we could use the fireworks. We could get all of the yeah, I'm doing powder it. out of them. I'm doing it. And then we could blow up a boomlet, maybe. That's better. 19. It could be a boomlet. Nice. Uh, yeah, you look around in, like, storerooms and things, trying to find places. There's some locked doors and stuff. As you look around, at least immediately, it's not clearly present where they're at. Mm. But you, based on what you saw now, it doesn't seem like fireworks are going to be going off tonight. Probably not. Is there anything else I can steal? What are you looking to steal? Valuable. Things that people aren't looking at. Oh. Anything delicious or worth money or poison. <laughs> no poison. Ah, you can get a funnel cake. It's a little cold though. Yeah, I want cold one. Make me a only do twelve. Keep being one is half of the joy. Nine. a small charm. Cool. Yep. That when rubbed becomes a passive illusory mouse for five minutes once per day. Cool. Mm. Five electron pieces. Oh, I leave them. <laughs> Some of you are. And I think that that's a pretty good point to stop. I only take things that are worth a while. So thank you, Internet, so much for watching. Yes, we appreciate it. As the party joins into this blet storm, if you will. Oh. <laughs> uh, and we will see what happens next week when we will have Celine back. Yes. Yeah. Good. So I don't know how, how helpful Ember will be next week or how cheerful she'll be. But she's, she's got an interesting way of speaking. Apparently. She's apparently drunk. Yes. And how Maybe much she'll sober up. The better question is, if the party of five defeats this, and each gets a hundred gold, how much of that hundred gold does Rick spend on Hank's box? Well, at some, at some point, Hank's going to run out of things in his box. Hank's got a lot of things in this box. Yes. With five hundred gold, I could get all of it. Okay. Hank's got... Um, no, because we need that money for the ship. Hank's With got 100 at, gold. Hank's got at least 300 things, if not more than that. So, 50 it's, rations wasn't even on the original list, so that just got added. It worked perfectly. Because you happen to roll a 50. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you never know. At least 300. <sighs> so, hmm. thank you, Internet, so much for yes. watching, and uh, we will see you guys next it's week. Sweet. Actually, Sunday, for the finale of Curse of Strap. Yeah! Great. See what happens is the Strahd Busters take on the man himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strahd Busters.
and we came up with the name on the last episode. <laughs> it's like the, the penultimate episode we decided to name the party. Yeah, that's right. So. Well, you didn't die that episode, so that's good. Yeah. Alright, guys, we will see you next time. Bye, Internet! Mm -hmm. Later.